Yo. Oh, Breed. What up, y'all? Sorry I'm late. <clears throat> Brokez, what's up, man? Double high. Double high upgrade. <clears throat> Marco, what's up? Poop boozle. What's the word, man? What's the stuff flying around? Is it too bright? <clears throat> what's going on over here, little frog in the throat? everybody doing everybody still a g ball g balls no he's having uh, a giveaway or something if he's doing a giveaway and he hasn't done it yet i better go over there but only because you like him <laughs> shout out to g ball awesome dude awesome channel let me drop his link in here just in case he's still doing that giveaway y'all can go get it real quick but but come back though guys come back and even if he's not doing the giveaway still Follow or subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. Let me get it in there. Get in there right now. Check him out. That's G Ball's channel. <clears throat> um, I also wanted to say I'm gonna I'm come in hot, guys. I'm coming in hot. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm gonna drop the the link to New Breed, uh, New Breed uh, EDC.com. Forget my own website. Uh, right now I have a sale going on. Uh, for uh for blem uh light detent blem Clydesdales for ninety five dollars. So I forgot to do my volume. I don't want my phone to go off all rowdy. Shoot. Hold on, guys. I can't see anything. What a mess. Hold on a second. Sorry, y'all. Uh hopefully that works. Can y'all hear me? Everything okay? Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so ninety-five dollars. Uh, Clydesdales, light blam, uh, lightly, light blems, and light detents. So, uh, just for the weekend, I just thought it'd be a good way to get rid of them. Get get rid of them. Uh, I know detents are preference, but just for the the Clydesdale, the Clydesdale that have been out, it just didn't. They didn't really sync up to what what has been put out there. So, that's just how I felt like. Dealing with that. Whoa, whoa, what's up, dude? How you doing? What's the word, man? Sorry, I'm already getting behind. Sorry, I just wanted to throw that out there ahead of time if anybody's interested. Old school rocker, what's up, mom? How you doing? Knives are life. What's the word? What's in the pockets? Everybody need the pockets. I need the snacks. Oh, Jeep already did it. Ah, who won? Excuse me. There you go. Who won it? Dopey, what's the word, bro? How you doing? How's your Saturday? How's everybody's Saturday? Um, oh, shoot. I just highlighted everybody. Sounds fine. Okay. Man, why am I highlighted? Okay. Fixed it. Fixed it, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, pocket. What do I got in the pockets right now? Got the Fenya XL Raptor. Look at this thing, nasty. I'm being nasty right now. Mm -hmm. Love the design. Clean Riot uh, build. I think this is my second Riot. I have another one around here somewhere. Uh, the Micarta. Oh, dang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way the inlays are done, they do a great job. But so, I like that. M390, I think. Please steal. Yeah, M390. Left pocket. What do we got in the left pocket? Blade, Blade Walker one one. Don't know who the other. One. Oh, we did a couple of oh giveaways. That's cool. That's awesome. Why am I looking in this pocket? What am I doing in here? Back pocket. Oh, we got the Appalachian Drift Part Two. <laughs> this one probably has the grinds too. No, not quite. Still looks good though. It looks clean. Clean as a whistle. Uh, the lock bar access isn't great, but it's still a great knife, though. Very, very slicey. Very thin. Look at this guy. It's not playing around. You want something cut right now? I got it. I got you. <laughs> so, I mean, it is that, uh, that trailing point a little bit. So, a little cup word. Still slicey, though. Hey, get back in the pocket. What are you doing up here? Everybody get in the pocket. And then in the pouch, we got a pouch. Give me it. 
Got the Savivi Knox. Oh, locking myself up. This one is, I love this design. Very, very cool. It's uh, pretty thin too, but, and, and the handle is, is very thin also. Nice little carry, got that little choke up spot. Get in there, get it. Headed out to get a few supplies for Anno so I can get to work. Awesome, man. Hey, let me drop your link in here. Y'all check out Dopey and uh, Hi-Ho Customs doing some awesome work. You already know, guys. Give me it. Uh, do I have your Hi-Ho Customs? I don't know if I do, but. Y'all check them out on Instagram. That's Dopey's. Uh, oh, I do have Hi-Ho right here. You can follow Dopey to get to Hi-Ho, and you can follow Hi-Ho to get to Dopey. It's all good stuff. Check them out. Doing awesome work with those Clydesdales. Mm -hmm. You know it. Uh, well, get some awesome supplies, man. I want to see some good stuff from you. Thanks for stopping in, dude. Show your day. Joseph S., what's up, dude? How you doing? What do you got going in the pockets? What's going on? Is this not going in the pouch right now? Is this going on here? Fighting? Uh, okay, everything's giving me a hard time right now. Stop being like that. Uh, oh, Kaiser Dogfish. Okay. Dopey did an awesome, uh, what was it, like a dye job on one of those. It looked very, very cool. Like, it looked better than, because uh, I think they offer it in the Jade. I don't know if that's the only one, but the way he did it, oh, it looked looked nice. Uh, it was never really appealing to me until he did that. Uh, I think that's the only way it's appealing to me. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's a great design. It's just not my steez, not my style. Uh, who else we got in here? Any other links I got to drop? So how's everybody Saturday? What did G-Ball give away? I need to know. Was it delicious? I bet it was delicious. Fred the Lug, what's up, dude? How you doing? Hey, man, I had to sell that Lush. I had to sell that Lush. I know it wasn't for you, but uh, somebody hit me up, and I was like, ah, so I had to let it go. Uh, nuts for Knives. Uh, knife Nut, I'm sorry, not Nuts for Knives. Knife Nut 69 grabbed it. Uh oh the spiny dogfish. What did he say? Oh yeah, the Kaiser dogfish. Which one is that one? Let's go. We can do that now. Let's do that. I'm gonna go do that. So that way I can uh kind of redeem myself. Let me see. Give me it. Show it to us. Let's see it. Come on, guys, let's go look at it. You guys wanna go with me? Let's go. Eventually. Here we go. Oh, okay, this guy. Yeah, with that radio pattern. Yeah, I dig it. I do like that. Very cool. How is it? I'm not a button lock fan, but it's a good looking blade. It looks very useful. Is it big? Is it a big? How big are you? <laughs> yeah, she did. Discontinued already? No way. Is this true? This just came out. What? That's crazy. Oh, man. They better not say the same thing on the gavel. I'm going to check the gavel right now, guys. Wouldn't that suck? On live TV? Let's check it out. Let's go. Um, okay, cool, cool. And it's out of stock. That's cool. But not discontinued. <laughs> That's crazy. The dogfish are discontinued. Well, it looks dope. It looks dope. But the spiny dogfish. Yeah, that one. That's the only way I like that one, dude. The way you did it, you did a great job on that. Thanks for clearing that up, dude. <laughs> Have a dogfish. Son loves it. Oh, okay, cool, man. Yeah, I, I need a... I don't need to check it out, but it wouldn't be something that I would buy, but I would not mind handling. I didn't I didn't see one at the booth, I don't think. Blade show. Okay, what's up, dude? How you doing? What's the word? 
It's in the pockets, man. It has all the deployment methods. Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh yeah, it has a flipper tab too. I got this, this bright light in my face right now. <laughs> Let me see this guy. Open up for me. Let me see you. Oh, little little picture. That's cool. Photos y videos de Instagram. They have it in Spanish. Okay. Yeah, it does have all the methods. So, oh, I guess they work well. Your son loves it. That's good. Angelo, what's up? How you doing, man? He gave away a Kaiser Sheepdog and a Travisa. Okay, cool. Nice. Deep dog, I know they had uh, some going on clearance right now, some on sale. It's a good knife. It's a good knife. I got in on that. I got the uh, the Christensen Matthew. Give it to me. Okay, little screen over here. Get out of here. Good for you. I gave my friend info, and it was up to him. Oh, okay, cool, man. Yeah, sorry, man. I hope I hope you're not upset about that. <laughs> good for you. Is all mad. I'm just kidding, Fred. I'm just kidding. Uh, Matthew Christensen, this one's cool. The uh, mini critical. The my card came a little uh, a little greener than I expected. I put a little oil on it yesterday to darken it up, and uh, so it was like a tan green. It looks it didn't look as appealing as it did in the pictures, but the action fantastic. I haven't used it yet. Haven't put it to work, but I'm ready to. I did put uh. Want to cut with this? I've been wanting to the voltaic, the VV voltaic. I was like, I want to cut something, so I cut up some cardboard that I had uh, lying around. Did it, it did a great job. Slicey. There is something going on with the. Where's the mic at? Like it, it. I don't know. It's like makes a noise. It like squeaks when it's locked up. But I don't know. It's not. It's locked up. Fine. Oh, okay. No, it's not. But I think I checked that last time. I was doing that anyway. But right now it's not locked up at all. Just checking. Maybe I didn't check it. Oh, okay. Extra tight now. All right. Fix that in a minute. We get caught up here. Be shady. What's up, dude? How you doing? Anybody have breakfast? What was the breakfast? What was the lunch? Shady, what's what's in the pockets, man? Something purple? Something awesome, I bet. Snacking on firecracker rolls, sushi, and pork cracklings. Clyde's on gavel on my desk. Okay. Snacks on the desk, or snacks in the hand. Snacks in the snacks in the pocket, knives on the desk. <laughs> 3.1. Oh, okay, it's a little guy. Not bad. That'll be fun. Feel free to pass any of those nasty button locks over to old food. <laughs> you're, a, you're a button lock fan? Got you, got you. I'll be on if I'll be on the lookout, man, on those sales, maybe for a giveaway. We will be doing a giveaway today. Uh, I'll show that in a minute. Kathleen, what's up? I see you there. How you doing? How's your Saturday? What's in the pockets? You got something in the pockets? What are you carrying? Let me know. Go. Yeah, I messed up this action now. It's all snug. You got a new American Blade Work Model 1 button lock. Did you? Man, that thing looks great, dude. Uh, I'm not a button lock fan, like I'm saying, but uh, that one, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Congrats on that. Very cool. Man. Cruise control at work today. All right. Don't mess with me. Uh, work today, raining here in Cali. The people don't want to come out. <laughs> Staying in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I used to work at a a retailer spot. It was a discount store, and it'd be like, "Oh, it's raining today. Nobody's gonna come in. And it's packed. Everybody's in there. Everybody wanted to come in there from the rain." Pizza is the word. Okay. Yeah, man. What kind do you have? I need I need the deets, man. I need the details. Snacks. I want what flavor? What topping? What's on it? What's in it? Pockets. What's on them? What's in them? <laughs> what scales? I need the whole shebang. But that's good. That sounds delicious. BEBC, what's up, dude? How you doing? I hope you're doing well, too, man. Thanks for stopping in, man. I know you were saying that you were going to see if you could make it. 
Hope you're having a great Saturday. Yeah, I seen you on vacation over there, man. I seen you. It looks great, dude. Is it all nice and breezy? Been watching your pockets, your pocket checks. I love it, man. Afternoon on tater tots for breakfast. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I'll take that. So it looks like I'm gonna lose some action here. I didn't realize it was that loose. I'm gonna have to tune it a little bit more, but I mean, it's not terrible. It's just, it doesn't drop, which is fine. Very smooth still. If you overshoot this, if you come from down here, it'll come and hit you right <laughs> Give you a little bite. Rocking a little bracelet right here. For my girl's daughter, Angel, Angel's daughter. Looks cool, I dig it, I rock it. She made me another bracelet a while back and Angel was like, don't wear that. <laughs> you look silly. <laughs> but yeah, I had a good time at the zoo. Then we went to an arcade after that and she won some tickets. She was killing it at some uh, milk jug game, the arcade game and you throw it, it's like got a carnival style. Very cool. And uh, she was kidding. She was like, I'm going to just use all my, my tokens here. <laughs> she got like 150. She kept hitting the bonus. Hit it like two or three times out of like seven games. We know where we're going when, we're, when we go back there. We're going to get, we're going to buy up the whole spot. <laughs> I love most nights. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Uh, I do have, uh, my only button lock is the Kaiser Assassin. And I do love it. I really do love it. I've carried it quite often. You can't tell. <laughs> it's a great knife. Drop point, you know, that drop point is very useful. They've been doing that poll lately. It's going around the community. Not everybody, but I've seen it quite a few times. Maddis Faction. It was a big red EDC headed on the other day. Or, or these blades. Uh, it's just an all-around useful blade shape. It really is. Uh, I, I like a Warncliffe. I prefer that, but this, it's just all around more useful. You just you get a little bit of everything with a drop point. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I do love the Kaiser uh, Kaiser Assassin button lock. I also have the titanium one. That one's dope too. But I'm with you on that. Gonzo, what's up? Blockbuster EDC. What's in the pockets, bud? Let me know. I have a micro burst and a mini champ. Okay. That's what's up. I like it. I was looking to to on uh, Tempest Knives website. I was checking it out. I saw that he didn't have any more. I was considering it. God. Yeah. I hear very good things about it. It looks comfortable. We had some Southern Comfort food at a little buffet here on Myrtle Beach. Collard greens were off the hook. Oh, nice, man. I like collard greens. Uh, I don't remember if I made any homemade, but there was this brand, this canned brand. I know, I know, I don't typically go for canned foods, but when I was having it, it was like it had like some bits of ham in it, or maybe I added the ham myself. Usually when I do canned stuff or, or pre-made stuff, I'll add some real stuff to kick it up to make it taste better. Uh, so it may have been me, I don't remember, but they were good, man. I like them. Nice, man. Southern Comfort Buffet, that sounds, that sounds on point. Lucky. Let me play. Nick Martino, what's up? Happy Saturday. Hashtag DSKFS, hashtag be up. Yes, sir. What's up, Blade Walker? How you doing? How you know what's in the what's in the pockets? What's in the pockets? Let me know. How's your Saturday? Joe Casper, what's up, man? How you doing? Just found your channel, G Boss Semi. Oh, cool. Hopefully, hopefully you like it. Hopefully you stick around. Thanks for thanks for uh, coming in, saying what's up. I hope you're carrying something very cool. Rio, what's up, man? What's up, everybody? What's up, Luke? Going to be lurking and driving. Got my Peña Mula and Growler V2 today. Ate some burgers there. Ah, oh, yeah. Where from? Do you have Fat Boy Burgers? If y'all ever in San Antonio, check out Fat Boy Burgers. Is it Fat Boys or Fat Boy? I think it's Fat Boy Burgers, right? Awesome burgers. That's uh, my boy's cousin. It's your cousin, right? But it's it's a really uh, popping spot in San Antonio. They won a couple of awards, I think, something like that. Best burger in San Antonio or top five. Um, I don't know if that's what you have, but I'm just saying. Uh, I was thinking about carrying my growler. 
But my V1, I only have the V1. And I'm rocking my fan yet too, man. I don't know if you saw. We both ordered ours the same day, but I went with the Raptor. And he went with the Moolah. Uh, we had a good time at Blade Show. It was very cool hanging with Real over there. Uh, him going and, well, taking me along, really. <laughs> awesome time. Uh, let's see, I'm already behind a lot. <laughs> Neil McKenzie, what's up? In Texas, when it rains, everybody has to go to a gro to the grocery store. Everybody wants to go somewhere when it rains here, man. He's like, oh, let's let's do something. You know what? And I'm I'm the same way. I love to go out in the rain. Man. Go lay down. <laughs> Budget guy, happy chill Saturday. Y'all watching movies, so can't stay. Cheers, man. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Have a great day, man. Enjoy the movie. Basic pepperoni with stuffed crust, okay? Yeah, man. That's that's ah, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, marinara. That's marinara. For that stuffed. Excuse me. Kaiser Dot Bear Concept Mini Corvid S N W Shield Plus. Oh, okay, got you. And for for Hank and Lancelot Wallet. Oh, I love all that. That all sounds great, man. Nice carry, dude. Heck yeah. I need to get me a forest tank and something from Lancelot. I have something by uh, Rock Leather Scissors. Did a great job on this uh, this wallet for me. Hey, I'm looking at my stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really, I really like it. He does this. Uh, it's a new style that he's got on his uh, Instagram. Check his link in here. He's a cool dude. Very cool dude. But I want to get something by uh, Lancelot. What's this guy's name? Yeah, check him out. He also has an Instagram. I mean, I'm sorry, a YouTube where he shows some of his work. Uh, Rock leather scissors. Got his little link in here for Instagram. Y'all check him out. Check out his stuff. He's got some cool stuff going on. He's a cool dude. Um, carrying the bailout. Okay, I, I saw uh something, some sort of good deal somewhere. There was a bench made, and I was it was like 140, and it was a popular design. I can't remember what it was, but. I was I was considering it because I was like, man, that's a good one, <laughs> good price and good uh, good design. I can't remember what it was. So crazy Roach, what's up, man? How you doing? Welcome, Tactical Terry. Like a scrotum. Here it is in the nutshell. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> How you doing, man? I just Saturday. Waiting for that design, man. I want to see it. I want to hold it. I want to buy one. You know, I'm buying one. Who is that? Concept, right? You know the concept. We just made homemade smash burgers with uh, homemade animal sauce. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I need to know. I need it right now. I need it. Me and my mom, we'll eat, uh, we eat some crazy stuff sometimes. We'll eat like pig's head, uh, like uh, turtle. Just what we, we, Like what's that on the floor? Let's eat it. <laughs> we, we'll eat some, uh, some crazy stuff. And well, I'll be eating like from the, the whatever it is. And I'll be like, what's that? I grab it and eat it. It's usually how it goes. What is that? I'm going to try it. Sometimes it doesn't work out. <laughs> uh, we had some smash burgers over in, uh, at Blade Show. Um, not at Blade Show, but at a restaurant over there. I forgot what it was called. I didn't have the smash burger, though. I had some uh, chicken strip things. I wanted a smash burger. But... Um, hey, remember the little all the time knives I won? I finally got it back for my wife. I bought her one in purple. Oh, nice, man. It's a very good knife for the price. It really, really is. Uh, not just for the price. It's... Um, it's just a good little knife. It's a quality little knife. I dig it. That's cool, man. Yeah, they have some cool colors. Nice little variety. Uh, let's see. I was going to... Uh, in tactical Terry, let me get your link in here, man. I think I got your... Your... Uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah, I do. So here's uh, tactical Terry on Instagram. Y'all check him out. And then check out, uh, he does some modding too, like dopey, but you know, his own stuff. It's flawed uh, by design customs. So check him out over on Instagram, give him a follow. He's gonna, you know, get ready for some stuff. He's coming with some stuff himself. So some designs, some mod work, all that, all that good stuff. Probably gonna be doing his own things. It's cool. So Y'all check him out. Uh, went to the zoo once and they tried to keep me there. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean, man. They're like, hey, where are you going, sir? 
Get back in there. I mean, it was a good time. Brian, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? I'll check out Brian, too. Everybody's got some good stuff going on. Don't tell me I don't have your stuff. I have your B-Dig right here. Just paste that in here. Check out Brian. And I do not have your... Wait. Oh, it's, a, it's an Etsy, right? Okay. I'm going to go through here to get there. That's what I'm going to do. He's been doing some, some what, uh, fire starters? Or, um, I can't think of the damn name right now. Barrel Rods. Y'all check, check his Etsy out. I'm going to get it right now. Give it to me. Come here, you. Everybody's, everybody's been doing some awesome stuff. Everybody, you know, in my circle, I try to keep around cool people, people doing awesome stuff, hardworking people, cool people, legit people. And uh, if I don't drop your link, that's why. I'm just joking. <laughs> I might just forget. But uh, yeah, just a lot of really good people doing some awesome stuff in the community right now. You know, Brian is one of them. Check him out. Check him out. A little follow. Yeah, Mackenzie, Tiles UK, Pink Classic SD from Mrs. Ayonin. Uh, Elnin's Edge? Yonin? Yonin. Got it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to her uh, prayers and thoughts, all that. Uh, tiny uh, tiny Sog of Follow Mob uh, Mini Light SNW MNP Field 9. Awesome carry, man. Awesome carry. But yeah, man. Uh, thoughts and prayers for real. Can't make, you know, can't say enough of that. Uh, Kevin Smith, what's up, dude? How are you doing? What's in the pockets, man? What's what's the carry? Dang Ross, what's the word? Wake sent me. You said you have a game is on your phone. I have games on my phone? Am I playing a game right now? What game's going? I don't know. <laughs> I might have games on my phone. <laughs> uh, I need to get caught up here. Spider Code Tenacious, snacking on Triscuits with avocado, avocado, cilantro, and lime. Okay, man. That sounds like a snack. I want to taste. <laughs> oh, yeah. Congrats on the win. Congrats uh, to Blade Walker. Uh, let me get cut up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Thomas McDonald, what's up, man? How you doing? Crispy Critter, what's the word? Luther Warnot M and snack on a banana. Nice. I want to get a banana, man. I haven't bought any bananas in a while. They're good for you. I used to hate bananas, and then when I had to change my diet and everything, I was eating all this. I was eating lettuce on its own. I'd be like, mmm, this is great. Uh, but yeah, banana, it's the texture, but I got used to it. I just don't. I like like banana nut, like muffins. I like that, and banana shakes. But a banana on its own, I didn't really like the texture. But yeah, like I said, I got used to it. I didn't carry it today, but now I'm fidgeting with an Italian switchblade and a Beyond EDC Geo. Okay. An Italian switchblade. That sounds fun. Very cool. Awesome. You finally got one. I need to check that out. What, what is it called again? A Warnot? Luther Warnot. We're going over there. Luther Vandro Warnot. Go. Okay. Nice, man. Excuse me. It looks like a like a chunky boy. Hmm. How's the action on that thing? Oh, it looks like a piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know who this is. Yeah. Follow him over on Instagram. Awesome, dude. Very cool. Overbuilt custom. <laughs> nice carry. Dude. Uh, let's see, let's get back up in it. Oh man, jumped on me. Oh, kaleidoscope with knives. What's up? How you doing? Glad to have you back, bro. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. I missed y'all, man. I was, I wanted to stream uh, from the zoo. I thought about it. I thought about hitting up the ball and be like, hey, can you throw me a link real quick just so I could say what's up on his stream? And that didn't happen. I thought about Tuesday and then I, because Tri State didn't go on. Well, I saw Mikey, Di Mikey Daly was going to be going on and Kaiser was going on at 8. 
and that's around the time I was considering it. So I was like, ah, it sucks. So I just decided to keep it on uh, Saturday. But I appreciate you, man. How's your Saturday? What, what do you care? Let me know. Humphrey Chimpian. What's the word? A lot of cool little emojis going on there. Nice. Uh, let's see, let's get, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Get that up. All right, here we go. Rocking some faves today in their alternative blades forms: Iridium Rev Tonto, Raccoon Sheep's Foot, and the Pyrite Rev Tonto. Okay, the 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 Pyrite uh, Tonto. No, no, I didn't have the Pyrite Tonto. I haven't seen that one. It had the the warning. I did that in a giveaway once. So it was pretty good. It was a uh, it was a good knife. Grandpa, what's up? What are you doing? Sound like I said grandpa, but I said grandpa. Don't forget to hit that like. Thank you so much. Thank you, old school rocker. Appreciate you. Here we go. Here we go. And cut up. Oh, I can't miss the carries. Got the S35 SOG Terminus and a Ferrum Forge Stinger. Nice. And I've been looking at a Ferrum Forge for like a month or <laughs> How you like the stinger? I never held one. Yeah, I I've been looking at one. Uh, I don't want to say where because then you're gonna go get it. <laughs> now there's a, a marble carbon fiber one, and it looks great over on White Mountain. And uh, yeah, I've been considering it for. If y'all get it, I'll be sad. But if you get it, let me know how it is. Uh oh, it's a banger. Okay, nice. John's D10 perfect and reverse peg is glorious. Very cool. I need to do my giveaway drawings this week. Okay, guns. Nice. Good luck, whoever's in there. Marinara sauce dip stuff crusting is for in is for people with self-respect. Ranch for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you little monster. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I, I prefer the the ranch, I mean the marinara, but sometimes ranch is good. Uh, waiting on my Trevisa to be delivered today. Been spending way too much on knives lately. I have the bug. Yeah, man, once it gets you, you know, watch out. Uh, Asher Knives dropped his silver, silver uh, warning, uh, whatchamacallit? Silver carbon fiber uh, Spiro. Oh, man. I wanted to get it. I was going to, but I, I had to be like, hold on. Wait, because I got to get this prototype going, man. I got to get my own stuff going. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Just got back, getting back from a track meet. Got my Kaiser, got my Olatans T T025 in my pockets. My Kaiser assessing in my pouch. About to ask from that door, Peak the Hut. Super supreme. Okay. Nice, man. Sounds delicious. How was the track meet? How did that go? I like the pockets, too. I love it. Did someone put me in timeout since Fugdu said hi to me? I haven't been able to chat. Uh, no, I don't think so. I haven't done anything, and I don't have many moderators. Unless Aaron or my brother Joe did something, or Bluminati. Shout out to Bluminati. How's it been? Let me drop his link in here. Y'all check out Bluminati. Hope he's having a great day. He better be keeping his pockets packed. You, you know he is. You know Bluminati has everything packed. Front, back. He's got a pouch. Yeah, he's carrying stuff. You know he's loaded out. Check him out on on uh, on YouTube. Give him a like. I mean, yeah. Sub, like, comment, all that good stuff. Check him out. Hope he's doing well. And Twisted Sister, his girl. Um, but yeah, no, I don't I don't think so, man. Hopefully, hopefully I'll check that in a minute. I'll see if I can figure it out. I don't really mess with that stuff, so I'm gonna be lost for a minute. <laughs> It was a steal, a brand new trade in my local shop with two 13 round mags and a 10 round mag for. Oh, okay, all right. That stuff wasn't. <laughs> what was it? Uh, oh, I carried a Spartan Harsey. Nice. I like Spartans. They look cool. Did you? Uh, did you get your uh, XLS after all? Tactical Terry. The Monterey Bay. Monterey Bay knives. It's a dope knife. Oh, I failed that. I've never failed this one before. That's new. Check the action. Locked up or what? Locked up? Are you locked up? Oh, get it. 
Yeah, I dig it. Get back up there. Uh, Humphrey, my chat box has been acting out the past few weeks. Tell me I hit a send, but there's nothing in the chat box to send down. I had to uh, backspace and retype. Then, yeah, that's might be a YouTube thing. Sometimes it acts dumb like that. I don't know why. Uh, that's happened to me a few times on Lefty's chat. Uh, somebody else's big reds, maybe. I don't, it's weird. Giving away a Tucson that I anodized on the Gear Goons live stream tonight. Oh, okay, awesome. Y'all check out Gear Goons. Uh, I think knife nuts. I'm sorry, uh, not knife nuts. Um, uh, Napoholics is alive too. And check out Brian. Excuse me, not Brian. Doug. Oh, Brian too. Brian's on there. They do it on on Broke Ass CDC, uh, Big Doug's channel. Got this link in here. Y'all can check them out too. Gear Goons too. I don't have their link. Uh, Zach Attack Designs. But I do have his link. I'm gonna drop Zach Attack Designs link in here. Awesome dude, very, very cool. And yeah, he has a new channel and also a new Instagram, I believe. Gear Goons. And uh, but I think he still has this one. Yeah, I see him post pictures and stuff, but awesome dude. And I, I like the channel a lot. I lurk in there sometimes or I'll catch it later. It's nice and chill. I love it. My steez. Yeah, I love it. Nice and thin. Yeah, man. Yeah, it is. It is a thin guy. And uh, yeah, I haven't cut with it yet. I don't think, man. I need to do that. Yeah, it is YouTube. Yeah, okay. And having five times the D-ball irritated me because the ADHD kicked in. Forget what I said. <laughs> um, I want to talk about this guy. I, I did a little video and I kept saying knife case or I, like when I talked about it. It's not a knife case. It's like a tool organizer thing, but I wanted to use it as a knife case, and it's pretty cool. Really dig it. Got this little opening thing up here. Squeeze them together. Uh, the sides, you got to push the sides and then push down the little plastic things. And then you have this guy right here. And this little door comes off, so that's pretty cool for, like, uh, you want to get them quicker. And then I put little cutouts of, uh, came with my 3D printer, some little foam stuff. So I just cut, like, some thin strips. And it has the divider, so you can make them as long as you need, but it, it doesn't go wider, so that's the only thing. But uh, I like it. This is I really wanted to have my my collection like like this set up like this rather than the one where you drop them in the holes. But I will probably get one of those at some point for travel. But this is cool to just have up here. I really like it. It was affordable too, so I think I might grab another one. I'm just really digging it. it doesn't take up a lot of room. It's very slim, so. I'm enjoying this a lot. My mouse stopped working. That's cool. Uh, it's on the Gear Goons channel, I believe. It's seven central. Gotcha. Oh yeah, let me go get that link. Who else's link was I going to go get that I didn't have ready? There was somebody. Y'all remind me. Unless I ended up having it. Pick out your goons. So, Dope, are you going to be on there too? I'm guessing. I've been seeing you on there. Uh, later night, fam. I need to run, spend time with some family. Hope to chat with y'all later on Epoholics at 10, uh, 10, uh, 10, 15, 10, 15 Eastern. Cool, man. Uh, thanks for stopping in, dude. I appreciate you. And enjoy your live. Hopefully, I can stop in there. I usually lurk when I do. Uh, but I do catch it. Um, but yeah, man, enjoy your day. Appreciate you, brother. Um, I'm thinking of making myself a wooden knife display and organizer when I have time. Oh, that sounds cool, man. That sounds really cool. I just made it to work. Damn it, it's a wet one in PNW. Oh, is it? It's, it's all rainy over there. <laughs> So you overrun Stevie and them? That's cool. West Virginia also. You don't need to make one of us a mod so we can help you drop a link, dude. Yeah, I had um, I have three people, but nobody wants to do it. <laughs> I think I said that last time. I'm still joking. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a couple more people, but I'm not going to do it now because I don't really know how to go around through all of YouTube. I want to be here all forever. <clears throat> Looking like a doofus. But I am going to... Uh, oh, let's go see. I want to see this real quick. I want to see if the... If Asher's out of those... Those Spiros, man. And Instagram, again, is being a piece of crud. They're uh, blocking a bunch of people's uh, posts and things like that, or whatever they're doing. It's really, really lame. Um, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's People see knives as a weapon, and they yeah, they can be used as a weapon, but so can a lot of other things, you know? They ban some hammers or something. I don't know. But, um. And there are knives that are meant to be used like that, but that's not all knives. Uh, no, I guess it's not up on here yet. Or it's sold up. Okay. All right. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> Good for you. Just need to show more boob and we'll all be fine, right? <laughs> yeah, man. They don't block any of those, man. It's wild. Uh, let me see. I'm going to stop this. Throw on some fusion. Let's see what we got going on over here. I did finish. Um, I called it the short horn. I couldn't think of what to call it. Uh, I wanted to call it something, uh, something like mini, but not because it's not that small but um yeah also i don't know i just wanted something different i also wanted to show the kaiser yorkie i'm digging this one a lot i have the titanium one but this one's more my uh speed it's a little smooth also but there's more I, it's uh more grippy for me than the other one and this without the flipper tab that's really cool too i like it a lot the action is fantastic showed angel yesterday she was ready to keep it i was like uh-uh mm -mm. Uh oh. So yeah, it's a smaller knife. You gotta make sure you position it the right way when you're gonna flick it out. But uh it's like the baby banter with the action. The the thumb 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 placement is just right where it needs to be, and the detent is perfect too. Uh so you know the with the it's a little smaller. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, this one needs to be. No, it's good. I guess I'm just used to the, the Yorkie now. It's a little bit bigger. So for some reason, I was thinking they were the same size, but they're not smaller. But yeah, just the placement of the thumb studs, the, the baby mats really pops out of there. You just got to hold it in the right way and throw it out there. Really easy to flip these or uh, thumb flip them. Guns of center pig of my boot. <laughs> Call it the guppy. <laughs> we still need to get that one. I should have called it that. That would have been good. Oh, this isn't it. That's invisible. Whatever we got going on there. So this is the, the short horn right here. Uh I was a little wor uh, worried about it because it had a similar look to, or it has similar look to the Appalachian Drift. And uh I mean it's a different blade shape. So I even have it right here. So it's a different blade shape. Oh, where are you? And uh, it wasn't intentional at all. It's just how it ended up coming out. And, uh, you know, we got the forward finger toy on the other one. My design's a little stubby guy. Uh, this one's like a Tonto. And then also when I designed it too, I was like, well, I was like, well, this one's a flipper tab with the with the reverse flick. So that's another thing. And then I saw the one, I think it's Appalachian Drift 1, and it has a flipper tab like this. And I was like, oh, man, the world. So it looked even more like that one. I just, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's different enough, so I think. Uh, but I, I was a little concerned about it. If y'all don't feel it's different enough, y'all let me know. Cause, uh, you know, I don't want to be that guy. 
So uh, this one is, I believe I have it at, uh, where is it overall? Let me tell you all right now. Give me this. Here they be. 142.95 millimeters. <laughs> so I work in millimeters and I still don't ever remember what that means. So 142, what is that? Give me this. It is about uh, five point, a little over 5.5 .5 inches. Probably about six, uh, five point six four. But you all know this is gone. Everyone hope all as well. <laughs> you better not steal it. You better not. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing? I hope you're having a good set. You. Better be. Don't be eating any Oreo sandwiches. Oreo trying to make me jealous. I know, man. That's what I'm saying. You better be sending it to everybody. Do it in like a group message, Crispy. Different enough? Okay, cool, man. I appreciate you. Made it better late than ever. Oh, what's up, Henry? How you doing? Sorry, I didn't realize you. I thought you were somebody. I didn't read your name. How you doing, man? Welcome. What's in the pockets? What are the snacks? I need them. Oh. Uh, very nice. Appreciate you. Thanks so much. I like that knife, Luke. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. You better look. I may have just snagged it. Uh, oh, the Asher? <laughs> Dang it. Definitely a great looking blade. Thank you. Appreciate you. Good looking knife. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I, I was just... Uh, I was digging it a lot during designing it. I uh, don't really do a lot of compound grinds and uh, I want to do something a little bit different. I wanted to make something a little bit smaller. And, uh, you know, I just kind of went with it. And, um, you know, I think I played with the blade shape a little bit and I saw something that I thought was kind of cool. And uh, I wanted it to be just something a little different style. So, um, but yeah, then when I was looking at it, I was like, I don't know if I was looking at some knives or something. I saw the Appalachian Drift, and I was like, wait. And I'd seen the Appalachian Drift before, but I hadn't seen it recently, and it was while I was shopping and, you know, window shopping. And uh, I had to go back and look, and I was I was still like, because I just don't want to be like that. I don't want to feel that way or people to, seem, to see it that way. I know how I went about it. I know that I didn't design it that way, but still. And, uh, but yeah, eventually, like, when I looked it over after it was done, I looked it over more with compared them and I was like, oh no, they're different enough, I think. But it's always gonna be up to the people. So, you know, everybody's gonna make up their own opinion. Which is fine. No, I understand. Another thing that I wanted to talk about that was so funny. So I did the thumbnail uh for the live stream. I was trying to so I I had just shown some other designs that I'm working on on Instagram. So I didn't really want to use those as a thumbnail yet. I was like, oh. I want to do something kind of fresh. So I did a lineup of, you know, my designs that I finished. And those are actually, like, if you look at the thumbnail, those are designs that should be coming at, uh, I don't know, some point. <laughs> um, so those are licensed. So uh, during putting that together, I hadn't looked at my design in a while. And I realized that the gavel is a bolster lock. I designed it with a frame lock with the with the inlay over it with an overlay and i didn't even catch on to that <laughs> during the whole time and i was putting together the 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 thumbnail i was putting the designs together on on uh, fusion and uh i was trying to make a like a joint so i could close the blades open them so i was putting together the joint. so i had to remove part of the body and when i did that i saw the other side and i was like wait a minute i was like that's it's a, a frame lock so uh, i didn't realize uh, I don't know, during the time that they had changed that. I guess I was just so excited about it or something. But that that would explain the, the thickness, too, because I was going to hit them up about nesting it 
And I think I'm going to ask them if, you know, if they're going to do another version or another run, if they can do the bolster lock version. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, I think it'd be more appealing. It'll look a little cleaner. It'd be thinner. Uh, I think it would look a little more traditional, a little more premium. So what do you guys think? Would that be cool? Like as an actual bolster lock instead of this like faux bolster with a liner? I think that'd be pretty cool. But I, it was just so funny. I just looked at it and I was like, hey, hey. But I mean, of course, it's my fault for not catching it. But what do you get? Like a different material too. I still want different material, and hopefully they do that at least. And if they don't want to do the bolster, I am gonna to try to to do a an updated file of nested. And if they want to keep it this way, I'll do the nested liner and uh, send that to them and see what they think. But I think as a bolster with the, I think that would look very very cool. Updated material. I think that would look hot. Mm -hmm. Excuse. Me. Homemade hot pockets are done cooking. Oh yeah, man! Don't burn yourself. When I was a kid, I burned myself in a hot pocket. The cheese came down, burned my lip. It's embarrassing. I went to school like that. I was a little chubby kid, so I was like lying. I was like, ah, oh, a lion bit me. <laughs> no, I said I was like, yeah, I burned myself with a hot fork. I didn't want people to say that. I didn't want to be like, yeah, I was eating a hot pocket and cheese burned my face. <laughs> I guess a fork is embarrassing too. But <laughs> I think I was like in sixth grade or something. I have tacos coming. I'm stoked. Oh, yeah, man. What kind? You know, I need it. And Neil McKenzie, I need the insides. I need the insides of those pockets. The hot pockets. You already gave me your other pockets. Because is that code for Lefty Sigs? My pop calls them chicken wings. What are Lefty Sigs? Oh. 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 Is that, is that something? I've never heard that. I think I just got what's going on right now. <laughs> it might be kind of hard to access that. It might be kind of hard to, to get to this lock. Let me get up inside here for you. See what I got going on. There's a cutaway and there is a jimping right here. So uh, I tried to take that into consideration and did some adjusting right there. So that way, what is there you could catch. I even thought about doing some uh, no doubt section right here. But I added uh, some chamfers right here to catch and some chamfers down here to give a little sharpness to it. And then, of course, the jimping as well. So, yeah, I, I did uh, consider that. I, I did. Uh, want to put more, but I was just kind of worried about how it would feel in hand with the design. Um, I also wouldn't mind adding more, but I think this would help a lot because the Appalachian Drift, because I, when I saw that, I was like, oh man, I have an Appalachian Drift situation on my hand because that one is hard to access. But you can get in there, you just got to dig it a certain way. So even if it was just a little bit cut out on this one, you're still good. What's another one that I have here? Uh, maybe my gavel. And this one probably has a little bit more, but it's almost the same situation. But it's just enough to catch. But it, it might be hard for some people. I'm trying to see what other designs I got here. This little guy. But this one's just so thin, the, the frame log, you just get in there. But... Um, yeah, because I, I had done a review on this and I was talking about that. And I think I had just finished this design and I was like, I don't have any lock boxes. What's going on here? And uh, yeah, so I, I do that on there. I think I think it'll work. Uh, especially with the, the little jimping spot. Big E's knives, what's up? How you doing? Is it Saturday? What's in the pockets? Let me know. So hungry. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to do, I don't know, something. Something, I don't know. Is it doodle or something? I want to doodle. Mary Jane has been my mistress for, for years, my wife. <laughs> 
Right on, I see another one. No, no, you're good, man. I appreciate the the input always, man. The feedback, the input, you know, it's 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 good. It's good to have other eyes. It's good to have people catch some things. Um, you know, you got to be able to take criticism and feedback well. You know, uh, that's why I, I try to get that the clies out to everybody. Uh, not only to get eyes on it, but to get hands on it. People to give me some things that I may have missed because I did have a lot of modifications when I sent or things that I wanted to modify when I sent the Clydesdale. Uh, I think the only thing that I didn't have that I was considering was the jimping uh, stretch uh, higher on the blade. Because when I sent out the Clydesdale, I sent out a note with the things that I was going to change. And a lot of things they pointed out, um, especially if we go back to a lot of the early reviews, they, they even said, like, they would be like, oh, I'm not going to look at this yet. They would mention what they were going to say, and then they get to my notes, and they'd be like, "Oh, he's covering all this." Or, however, and uh, but the the jimping beast blades talked about it in G ball, and uh, I think by the time we got to G ball, because G ball was one of the last people to check it out, uh, I had already uh, I don't know if I had already sent out for the prototypes to be made. I'm sorry, the for them to go into production, or it was just something I noted already that I was going to stretch the jimping out to the to a little higher up on the blade. But yeah, you, it's uh, it's not no problem. Man. Guys, I put a glitch in Loot's Matrix. What am I? Am I messing up right now? Oh, I see what you're saying. You're doing it again. Yeah, the Mini Main Street is horrible. App Drifter, I have as well. Not as bad as the Mini Main Street. Oh, okay. I've been looking at the Mini Main Street. Is it is it bad like that? Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, I think it's probably the sharpness that's uh, why it's why you can get it on the Appalachian Drifter because it's got a nice little edge to it. I mean, it's it's not great by any means. It's just it is easier to cat. Um, I don't know how the like. Oh, I'll show you a great example of a terrible one. <laughs> uh, I love the design. I'm a fan of D Rocket. This one right here is a great example of the access like that. This may have been one that I was like, oh no. Because this, there is no access, right? And the, the issue with this one, because they do have some relief cuts, you can see it. See on both sides, little chamfers, but it's uh it's chamfered on the edges. It's so smooth that when you go to unlock it, you slip. So you've got to really concentrate when you're unlocking this knife. Uh, it's terrible on this. Uh, and considering it's a smaller knife, uh, you don't have a lot to handle on, like handle it. So if you slip, it, it gets kind of a little scary because it's whoa. And if you don't have a good grip on it, if you let this go and it comes down here, you're going to slice it open for real. Because uh, it's very it's a nice hollow on your chisel grind hollow. And I love the design. I really do. But that uh, like if it if it gets cut away if I can cut it away like I'll, I'll probably do the Appalachian Drift the same way. Cut that away a little bit. Is the Appalachian Drifter Appalachian Drift Drifter? Yeah, you're right there. You're saying it. Yeah, Drifter. My bad. Uh, cut this away and it'd be better. But yeah, just the way it is, the way it's the the edge is chamfered right there. You slip. You slip all the time. So you really got to concentrate. Get in there and unlock it and close it. That is a very good example of terrible lock bar. Uh, just the, just all the way the way it was dealt with on here is just it's not great. Uh, I love the design, just that is bad. And uh, like I said, if you're not paying attention, when you flip up, you're gonna cut yourself pretty good on that. I found Shunzi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be the same way you know, I would send it around myself. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, you gotta be able to get that out there and uh have people take a look at it. Make sure you didn't miss anything, give it a look over, and then also confirm the things that you might be changing already. The snot tastes like snozberry. <laughs> New knife day, best tech sin just arrived. Best tech sin? Which one is that one? Check it out real quick. I'm thinking of the the one by Evolve EDC. Oh, I mean, it was the Evolve EDC. I had a converse, I had some conversations with that dude. And he was very cool, man. Oh, okay, it's it is by him. I was thinking of the the other one he did. 
Uh, I'm not saying he's not a cool dude anymore. I just, you know, what happened with him is, uh, you know, it sucks. Lefty was talking about it with uh, Stassi the other day. They have the fireball coming out. And they were just talking about putting out, you know, designs. And, you know, it can be a scary and, uh, moment, a uh, scary thing to do. It's intimidating. Uh, this is the spin right here. So there was a rough situation with this one. Uh, you know, he was trying to have his design made put the order in with best tech and uh, he had a partner that ended up pulling out on him or something and he didn't have the funds to cover the rest of it. So he already had the order placed in, he had people with pre-orders and it just, it fell apart in, like the worst way for him. And it really sucks. Like I said, he was a cool dude. And, you know, Stasa said like, it, it sucks because now he probably feels like he can't show his face anymore. And, you know, like blade shows or, or just around the community. And, that's really that sucks a lot because it is a scary thing, and you know, thankfully, I, I had some help during my project um, because I did face some of those fears at times too. But you know, it's uh, I had faith in the the project. Just you know, there are just some moments where you're like, oh, I'm not sure. Uh, look at Javon over here. Look at Javon. Hello, Javon. Um, yeah, so it's a it's a cool design and. Uh, like I said, we had some conversations. I was like, hey, let's collab and this and that. And uh or he may have told me that maybe we can work together down the line. I was here, I was here for it for real. And yeah, but uh how is it though? <laughs> is it pretty awesome? Is it mind blowing? Like your emoji? Tell me. Pillsbury pizza dough on a sheet pan, lunch meat, cheese veg, salad dressing, fold dough, field edges, put a couple of quick on top the vent steam, cook it through the until golden brown. Oh, it's homemade and it sounds fantastic. Nice, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what's up, man. I ain't gonna be all excited. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need to go to your house sometime. We need to have some food together. <laughs> Mushrooms, 10.5K. Oh, crap. Hmm. Y'all still mess with me right now? <laughs> Must be better because I'm on a roll. Oh, crispy. <laughs> oh, oh. What am I doing here? Let's see. We'll do... Do uh, 3.45 inch blade. And oh. excuse me, sorry. Can't deny that felt pretty good. Um, what did I say? 3.45? Do a 4.58. Inch handle. We can adjust it if we need to. Have y'all seen the new biker auto? I seen a, the Boker auto. Uh, is it the is it the Brad Zinker? There was one that I wanted to get. It was a Brad Zinker. I saw it at the show. It was smaller than I thought. I was going to get in on the pre order they had it on uh, Blade Show, uh, Blade HQ, but by the time I went back, it was already filled or out of stock. Uh, my only only pick the Fairport Stinger is so rounded and flat off blocks sometimes. Yeah, that's that sucks. Yeah, too rounded. It, it, you want it to be comfortable, but then if you, you overdo it, then yeah, that yeah. making those croissant doughs sound good. I know, man. For real. I mean chili and homemade pepper. Oh, okay. Man, I didn't even know I wasn't doing this. Sorry guys. <laughs> Homemade pepperoni rolls. Oh man, that sounds good, man. Jeez. I'm gonna doing some homemade deliciousness. I love it. Just about the same design. Nice, nice. Pepperoni rolls make me moist. I'm getting ready to. Uh, love it smooth and a bit bigger than I expected, but not by much, but lighter than I thought it'd be for its size. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, what is it? Because it, it has the, the overlays of like 
E10 or carbon fiber in my carter, right? I think they had the two versions. Yeah, I think it was a biggie. It was like eight point something. It's a wicked design that looks slicey. I hope it slices well for you. Come now, I place 112 acres of West Virginia awesomeness. Ah, that does sound awesome, dude. And the pizza rolls and all that that land, walk around eating some pizza rolls. That sounds fun. I'm down for that. Just got here and hungry. Hey, uh, what's up, Bushcraft or Buddha? How you doing, man? What's what's in the pockets? What are the snacks? Are you getting some for that hungry? That hunger? Let me know. Oh. <laughs> Kind of pricey for D2. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Boker, for some reason, they they like to uh, put a high uh, price on their D2. I don't know if it's they have a lot of D2 just hanging around or what the situation is with that. But uh, I have bought a couple because I love the design that I was willing to pay the price for it. But uh, it is it is really up there for, for D2. I think it was 90-something. Or uh, for the uh, Lucas Burnley uh, Quake and Mini Titan, uh, it's it's awesome. So I was like, yes, please. And it was even cheaper than the original price. Uh, I don't know if I could pull the trigger on the original price, but because I dig the design so much, I don't know. I may have, but with this price, I, I was very willing to pick it up. Got this nice micro million on here. And uh, some bokers, you know, I mean, they're hit and miss on boker with their quality. So this one's finished well. Uh, there's no sharp edges. I have, uh, say, the opposite of this guy right here. This one is uh, really sharp. This one is VG10, I believe. I, I like VG10 a little bit more than D2, but, you know, it's about the same as far as budget steals. So this one's sharp on all the edges. This one's a lot smoother, finished a lot better. But this design is, I, I love this design so much. Just a, a clean design and hefty enough to be a primary, uh, in my opinion, or at least for me, for what I'm doing. Um, uh, and, and definitely a good secondary, for sure. But I can primary. Uh, I, I think I carry it mostly as a secondary, but I, I like it so much that I, I carry it as a primary. But uh, I probably prefer it. I guess I would prefer it as a secondary. But I feel it, it's just, it's stout enough, you know. Look at this blade stock. Got a blade stock on it. Yeah, I just I dig it. So this one, yeah, it was like ninety for some D two. So that, that can be up there for D two. But Caviso, y'all check out Caviso if you ever into some bokers and you want to try some out. Caviso is where it's at, y'all. Uh, that's you get some good deals on bokers and. Um, it's, I don't know if that's, you know, like how Mojave Outdoors was for Kaiser. I think that's what Caviso is for Boker. And uh, get some good deals over there. So if you're looking for a Boker and it's a little higher in price somewhere else, check out Caviso. And if they have it, chances are it's going to be lower. They have some really good ones right now that I've been eyeing. Or a really good looking one. Uh, uh, how do I keep passing this? Where are you? Oh, yeah. Going to build a tree house on Christmas night. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm with you. I want to go. Let me go, too. Whoa. Oh. Uh, point six zero. Oh yeah, on the sale, my bad. Overlook, I looked on Boker a little. Oh okay, yeah, Boker, yeah, their price will be up there. <laughs> you know, I've seen uh, Savivi. We like they on their website. They'll have some low prices. Kaiser does the same thing, but I think Boker, from what I've seen so far, has been the opposite. I'm kind of just messing around here. Um, See. 
don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just messing about. Uh, let's see. Business reboot. <laughs> Business reboot. <laughs> That's a good one. Damn, autocorrect makes some funny stuff happen. Yeah, a perfect spot. Heck yeah. You've had good luck with bokers so far? Yeah, I've had some that I'll show you on a minute. That I, I've got quite a few bokers, um, but uh, I play around in the I don't do the the Boker Magnum anywhere anymore. I that's uh, just you, you're playing with fire when you do that with Boker because they're kind of like CRKT in that way. Just uh, you know they have some awesome designs, but their materials are kind of lacking and uh, their quality control. So you know CRKT is the same way, but I, I would say Boker's a little bit step above that just a little but magnum is right there was uh so i don't mess with bulk magnum anymore well i mean I'm, I'm not saying that i won't i'll probably snag something from there if i see it and like it enough but uh i've gotten a lot of the bulker plus and there have been a few that are just man just rough like just the fit and finish is not there at all I don't know what the hell I'm doing right here. Um, I want it to be kind of wild at the tip. Maybe something like that. Do this. Oh. Let's straighten it out in. There we go. Something more like that. Uh, yeah, so I've had the. Uh, so I have a lot of mini bokers. I'm going to do a little video on some mini knives. Micro knives is what I'm doing. Uh, do something on that. You would have got a knife you would like. We may have to talk. What is it? <laughs> what is it? My favorite budget still has got to be 154CM or 14C. Yeah, those are good ones. Those are nice, uh, nice budget steels for sure. Um, depends on the price range. Uh, well, I don't know because you can go. Uh, depends on the design and the price range sometimes, but um, I don't know. Like, like one, 140, 140 might be too high for 14C. Depends on the design, but. It would have to be like a big blade or something. I don't know. Uh, 120 is what I would say. But, and then the materials around it. 154 CM, probably about 150. Uh, 130 to 150, maybe. It depends on the material, too. Because you can bring it down and go D10. And the style design can bring them down there and make an affordable knife. But yeah, those are those are really well rounded for the budget. Um, FRND, it's FRND. At the black my card, I used to not be too big on my card, but something shifted, and now I have more knives in my card than I do tie. Nice, yeah, I, I like my card, man. Uh, I'm a big fan of my card myself. Uh, sometimes it can come a little rough. I had a boker that I got that was like crazy dry on the surface. I did a video on it, uh, but it eventually, you know, I knew it was gonna patina the wood, but it was gonna take a little bit longer. So I would oil it. Uh, my brother has it now. I don't know if it, I don't know if he's carried it much to put some wear on it or some uh, patina, but uh, it was a Boker, uh, the Brad Zinker Urban, Urban Linear Trapper. I dug the design a lot. It was just a little bit too light for me. You know, the, the, I like a little bit heavier knife. Love me some of my card out, yeah. 
breaking the Phobos tier one mini gen three today. I absolutely love it. Did I say I love it? <laughs> what is that? I said a couple of things that I don't know what that is. I tell you, get up. Let me see. We're going. I don't know what that is. And I want to know. So somebody said something else. Share screen. Here, give me. What is it? Where are you? Oh, it's right here. This guy right here. Oh, tier one mini. Oh, it looks sick. I like it. Oh, I like this blade shape, man. That's cool. Not a fan of the pattern on that micarta, but it looks good though. Like the the micarta itself. It's dark. I can't see with this light in my face, man. And then somebody said, oh, the FRND. What's that one? That's not what that is. <laughs> is that a knife? I hope it's a knife and not a something else. Oh, is this the auto you were talking about? Okay. That does look clean. I like it. That grivery. Is that the one? Guns? Let's check out this Boker uh, Red Zinker Auto. It's clean. But it was a lot smaller than I was expecting when I saw it at Blade Show. I, I still dug it, though. There's this guy right here. Let me just go over here. Let's go to Blade Blade H2 real quick. Ah, oh, I didn't open the tab. Teach you. Teach you right now. Get out of here. Let me bring it up. Bring up the right one. Sorry, guys. Where are you? Get on there. So this guy right here. Oh, so this guy. Everything sucks. <laughs> Three point three four inch blade. I don't know about that. It didn't look like that when I saw it. But Brad Zinker, he tends to tuck the the blades way in there. Yeah. You see, it comes all the way down here. So it could be a three point three four. It just fits the whole handle. But I like how he does that. You get all of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pizza operator, what's up, dude? How you doing? The word, man. You get you have any you have any pizza today? Let me know, man. Let me know. 42 over there, guns? I like that weather. You don't like it? The terrible? Stressing about the long videos. Oh, are you doing some videos on the, like a review on that blade? Oh, what did I do? Yeah, my video, my last video it was pretty long. Uh, I did the, I talked about this little case thing, and then I unboxed the Yorkie and the Critical Mini. It went a little long, but. I hadn't been on in a while, so I was like, yeah, it's all good. Um, it's, uh, I have fun with it, you know, and it's, like I said, I, I, I miss being back. Uh, cold and rainy, okay. What EDC are ladies into? My mom wants to know what EDC ladies like. Uh, 
Stanley Cup's all I seen. <laughs> What's going on? What's stressing? Oh, got you. I just don't want to be turning out trash content already critical of myself. Oh, yeah, I got you, man. Just have fun, dude. I mean, like, yeah, I guess respect it, but have fun. I, I don't know if people maybe think that I'm disrespecting anything, but if you hang out in my live stream, y'all know my personality, and if you see my reviews, I mean, they're more unboxings. I haven't really done a lot of reviews, but it's just mainly showing some stuff, talking about my point of view, because it's all preference. Everybody's going to have critiques. Everybody's going to have their preference, their opinions, all that. And at the end of the day, it's you doing it. You're doing you. And uh, you're doing it because you want to, because you like it, because you love it. Just enjoy it, man. Enjoy hanging out with the people. You know, it's, it's also about letting people know, like for me, with mine, also it's about letting people know me, you know. Know me a little bit better. Because we all hang out, you know. Hang out in the chats. I'm not good in chats. I'm I'm better. Well, I'm, <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm better live, but I feel like I'm better live. Uh, chats. I'm a little, a little lame in the chats. Ah, oh, did I miss her? That's what she said. Oh, okay. Thunder eight isn't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Protec CR3. I don't know. They, I was wondering if it's a Protec, because uh, I know they did uh, one of the Quake and Autos, Protec worked with Boker. So I was wondering if maybe that was what was going on there, because I, I felt the same way. I, I don't know about the what the Protec CR3 is, but it did give me Protec vibes. Uh, do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just made stuffed crust pizza, crust with cream cheese and Italian sausage, then another crust, sauce, pepperoni, and cheese on top. Man, you're doing it right. That sounds fantastic. I'm on my way to everybody's place, right? I'm going to do like a buffet. Everybody's, everybody's house. Temp hit 80 yesterday. Summer is here. Ah, that's gross. It's not even that bad, but still, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to start hitting the hundreds eventually over here in Texas. Sucks. What's up, Grandma? How you doing? A little red wavy hand. The pizza looks so good. It should be a video. Oh, you have it up right now? Oh, we're going over there right now. We're all going to look at your pizza. I'm already salivating. I think it just spit everywhere. A little bit of spittle. Good thing I was on the smaller screen. We're going over to Pizza Operator's Instagram right now. We're going. Come on, guys. Let me see it. I'm already, I'm already ready. Hey. Hey. No pizza here. I saw this one, though. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. That was good. Look at this. Already. We got the pizza and the knife shots. I'll take it all day. Oh, look at this guy. With the blade. E. That's a nice uh, nice one. I almost got the, the scapegoat. I think it's a scapegoat goat at Blade Show. Uh they did like this limited run. But I got the I went with the elder, the Brian Efro Slice FK Elder. And uh I'm not kicking myself but a little bit because the clip on the elder sucks, but I love the design so much. Look at this. I gotta look at this one a little bit. Very nice. I like uh, you've been pairing it with some awesome, awesome designs. You you had it with the Sabenza and uh, the Shiro, I think, man. That was very cool. It was just, I don't compare it to that, but it was cool seeing it with them. Did you end up moving this, man? I know you were trying to, to move that EMP. But yeah, I don't put them in the same category, but it, it was cool to see uh, just the Clydesdale being carried alongside. Where is it though? Oh, here we go. The Chris Reeve, Shiro. 
in Clydesdale. Who did the anal? Was that Tactical Terry on your anal? Or was it dope? Um, 20s and 30s over there. Ooh, that's cool. Very cold, but oh, that's cool. I like it. Jay, what's up, man? How you doing? What are we making now? We're working on pizza and uh and I'm apparently we're behind so oh no, not too bad. Yeah, I'm just I'm just doodling. Doodle. I think I've been working on the same thing for like 20 minutes. Lines. Let me bring it back up. Uh I do Saturday, man. What's in the pockets? I see. I do me because nobody else is willing to do me. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true, man. Mm -mm. I'm lurking on your page sometimes. <laughs> I'm from New Jersey. 80 is too hot. Oh, man, I bet, dude. Ugh. I'm from Texas and 80 is too hot. <laughs> it's just because I like it cold, though. I didn't post it there. Oh, oh yes, that's what I want to see. Sliding that pizza in my DMs. That's what she said. <laughs> You'll be right here at home. <laughs> yeah, I saw the EMP to help you. Oh, that's very cool, man. Awesome. Congrats on that, dude. I'm not. Uh, I've never handled the areas. I'm not the biggest fan, but I don't deny that. It's a good night. Like that, the quality's there. Like for me, not handling it, but hearing and seeing and how it's made and all that. I, I bet it's fantastic. Very cool. Congrats. Terry did that. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did an awesome job. So does so does Dopey though. Dopey do great. What's up, Wade Knife? And so how you doing, man? How's the knife building going? Let me get your link in here, bro. Check out uh, some cool fixies over Wade Knife and Tool. He's also got his other instas, Wade EBC. Does little, some little pocket dumps. I don't know why I say little. That sounds like I'm, I feel like I'm talking crap. But that's not how I meant it. Check him out over on Instagram. Give him a follow. What do you, are they like, uh, you do some, would you consider those Quaken style? Some of these other ones? I don't think so. We're going to go look real quick. Oh, crap. Get out of here. Fusion? I don't even like people. Except me. And even sometimes I hate confusion. I really like these, dude. The combination of the, the micarta with the... You got like a... Is that an itch or a stone wash? Like an itch? And that combination looks fantastic. And then you got the Crispy Dawn community thing going over here. Are these guys new? We can go. Take it, man. There's a little pocket dump right there. Oh, that was Zach of Tech. Nice, solid carry. Look at that. That looks nasty in the best way. I love it, man. That was good. Fantastic. Yeah, great stuff, dude. Oh, look at ah. Hate you. <laughs> Looks good. The grind lines over here. Not playing around. Very cool. Oh, and then they slapped you with this number, huh? They've been doing that recently to you? This was nine weeks ago. Started again. Oh, this is a great pick, dude. That's an awesome picture. Love it. Y'all check them out. Oh, let me get your, your other uh, instas in here, too. Come on. Give me it.
pastel in your kit in there. Oh, okay, I see your carry a minute ago. We're gonna get it in here. Six minutes ago. I like it, man. I like it a lot. Got the little uh little worry stone. Oh yeah. Great stuff. Did I like it? I didn't like it. I liked it now. Oh, I was the first one to like it. <laughs> awesome, dude. Kevin C. Uh, pockets picked. Jetstream and Appalachian Drifter 2 make an egg and bacon sandwich. Oh, nice. Hey, man, I got the Appalachian Drifter 2. Two. Two, two. Oh, I failed that. I got weirdy. I got this version. Nice. And the jet stream, I dig it, man. I got it for my brother on uh, Christmas. It's an awesome knife. Awesome design by Casey. I got his uh, Pixie already. The Dust Devil. It's a nice little fixie. I want to put it to work. I'm going to go camping right now. <laughs> Cut some rope. I like that. Shout out to Nice Fest. Tempest Nine. Uh, that sandwich, though, man. Save me a bite. Shiro, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, I'm just just doodling right now, man. What's in your pockets, bro? What are you What are you carrying? Tell it to us. We're all We're all listening. Where is Fusion? Oh. Yeah, I just have lines right now. Let me see. Let's do something to it. Just have this going. I was going to show the ones that I uh, started, but I don't know if I want to reveal too much of that right now. I don't want to. Like when I, I put out the, the one that I finished recently, uh, usually when I reach out to a company, then I put it on my Instagram because I don't want anybody doing anything funny. So I'll be like, hey, I showed it on Instagram and uh, they try to use it without my permission or something. Um, but so far, the one that I reached out to is uh, I reached out to Kaiser, and they've done me right so far. <laughs> uh, let's do point eight five two. Did I type that right? Yeah, a little bit slimmer. Okay, that's millimeters. I don't want to do point. I do. Uh, no, let me keep it. Oh uh, yeah, so I don't. I don't want to show the other design too much yet. But I mean, I have two of them working. They're fairly similar. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Let me bring this down some. Bring this back some. We'll do uh, a little 1.85 inches. Oh, okay. I think I got thrown out of whack there, but it's okay. Maybe I'll just do, let's just do a clip point. Just cause. Be a long point. Let's see what I. This isn't how I'm going to leave it, but I just want to get a look real quick. Let me bring this down. Connect it to the belly. There's a center point. Right there. Oh, I want that. Connect it right. Give me it. 
probablemente. Mm, let's just see what the profile looks like. Close it off right here. Like I said, I'm just messing around. So that would be where the... Let's just make it a thing real quick to get a look at it. Probably round this a little bit instead of going a straight. I think I'll do that. This isn't normally how I like play around with stuff, but huh. just for funsies. You might check that out. Uh, let's see, take me cheetah. <laughs> So basically, when you get at the areas and hand it so much smooth, it just feels so crisp on the detent. Yeah, man. I, and that's that's uh, that is cool sometimes about certain designs when you just do it well, even if it looks simple or it is simple if you do it right. You can still appreciate it, uh, and even more so because the more like basic and simple it is, the more on point you got to be because there's nothing else to really you know look at. You're just looking at. Just the design itself, there's no like milling or like patterns or um, really, you really focus mainly on the design. So, so, uh, but I mean, I know they do other stuff too. They add stuff to it though. to do a simple design and do it well and fantastic. Doing good, bro, working on the CDC sheets today. Oh, nice, man. I'm sorry, I got way behind my stuff. Uh, Excuse me, how many blades are you doing for him? Is that a secret thing? That's a cool little collaboration you got going, man. Very, very awesome. Cool dudes. And uh, living with everybody. I think they're working with Acaso, too. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> uh, Rick. Rick is awesome over the uh, Acaso. Acaso knives. Uh, I got to get him some designs. I told him that I would send him uh, like two or three and whenever he wants to work on something, because I, I would like to work with him. He's a good dude. He's doing some awesome, like his design. I don't really have a set design that I, or style that I'm trying to stick with or anything. I just want to do as many as I can and try to do them in a great way that people enjoy. And uh, because there are so many preferences, I just want to, you know, Put a lot of good, good different designs uh, that are awesome if I can. <laughs> uh, but so working with Rick, I don't see as being impossible. I think I can pull off a queen design. Oh, I guess he did like this, and I showed him the the gavel, and he was like, "This is what I'm talking about, man." He, he liked it, and you know, he just wants something, you know, queen. And uh, he does have the distort over there. I haven't sent that one to anybody else. I told him that is whenever he wants it. I said I'll send him a couple other ones. I don't, it's not something I mind doing, especially if I want to work with the company. You know what I mean? So uh, I need to get him something. But he does have the distort right now. But they have one that they're working with uh, American. Oh, man, that thing looks sick. Oh, I saw that Blade Show. Yes, please. But yeah, I didn't see Crispy Donut Community working with them. That's, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, man, absolutely. Man, you've been fighting the band since December? Jeez. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing over there at Instagram, man. It's, it's ridiculous. I work on getting you to 1,000 subs. How far are you from 1,000? Where are you? Are you not going to follow 1,000? Let me see. 545 followers? Oh, man. You need more than that. I mean, you don't, I mean, not need more. You deserve more than that. <laughs> yeah, man. You're doing awesome stuff over there. What's up, Mirsalt? Mirsalt? <laughs> Even if I'm saying it right, still. 
What's in the pockets, man? How's, how's your Saturday going, dude? Nice to see you. I'm doing 10 warning manifolds for the CDC collab. Oh, very cool, man. That's awesome, dude. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for them. People are going to love them. The one, uh, like the, the one that I've seen so far, the little bit, little bit that I've seen. So it looks, it's like, uh, it's different, but same in a way because it's kind of, you know, like, you know, fixie traditional type. Not that they're traditional, but fixed blades are a traditional thing. Uh, reminds me of like Jack Wolf, you know, blending, you know, like modern with new stuff. And the way you're, you're using the colors on there, I was popping it. It's reminding me of that just for some reason, just uh, like modern with, you know, blend with all traditional. I dig in there. Hello, getting you to one kid. Oh, <laughs> man, I'm far from that, dude. I'm far from that. <laughs> but I appreciate you, man. Thanks so much. Uh, let's see. Let's bring this guy back over here. Uh, yeah, I'm like, uh, what am I at? Like 380 or something? 380 something? Which is cool, man. I I like that, you know, the people that do follow me, um, you know, it's all good people, and that's that's really what I love. That's what I want. Genuine people. Uh, people just want to hang out, want to chill. You know, good vibes, you know. That's what I love. And I appreciate all y'all that are here, all y'all that kick in on Saturdays. Oh, I haven't shown the giveaway. I haven't even shown the giveaway. And I don't know if people were here late. New DBC, I have light detent. I'm just saying this because I know some people got here later. Uh, light detent, uh, slightly blemished for $95 right now on newbreedbc.com. Um, it's just the way that I wanted to be. You know, I, I've got to be transparent in the designs. I don't want to just put stuff out because. You know they cost me money i want people to to know that i care about what i'm putting out there you know i may not have designed them like made them myself i did design it but made them like machine it and all that but i do have control over what i'm putting out you know if i get it and i don't like it you know uh if i can at least get back what i put into it or, or some of it then i'd rather do that than put out something that people are gonna be like oh this is crap you know so that's why I did that. But let's check out this giveaway. Let's see what we're doing. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, almost collected all of the knives. <laughs> all the knives, what knives are those? Oh, check this out, guys. I got this Ozark trail the other day. It's it's doo doo. It's not great. It's a it's a push button rather than a light switch and it's it does that number. <laughs> You gotta, but it still doesn't fly out. But the design is cool. Well, let me do it this way because that clip ruins it. Uh, I'm not much fan of the pattern. Not the biggest fan of that on the handle. But it, it has a grippy texture, very grippy. Uh, the blade shape I thought was cool. I just thought the overall design was was pretty cool. So it's six bucks. Okay, six bucks. Nothing great, but it was enough for me to be like, oh, I want to check that out. Uh, the detent, yeah, it's it's you just gotta push it. Comes out of there, doesn't fly out of there, but flies enough. Three ninety. Oh, the subs. Oh man, oh nice. So I got one, one today. I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. The original inspiration was designed by Lucas Burnley. Oh, okay. The Avaki Scoshi. I wanted a little pocket dropper with a manifold. Oh, okay. I didn't know that, man. I have I, I like Lucas Burnley designs, dude. I have uh his Quaking uh I don't know if you're here for it. I was showing the give me the uh mini Titan. This one's dope. I also have his uh the mini the air mini. Air Quaken, uh, that one. And I have a cool uh, slip joint of his that I really like a lot. Uh, it's an MKM, so I know, you know, about the steel. Uh, they do, they run it soft, but the design is just dope. I love this design so much. The, the slip joint is done well. So 
I, I really like this design. It, it's one of my favorite. This is probably one of my top five, top ten knives that I own. I just I love they they did a great job on it. So and uh, Lee, I have a few Burnley designs, and I I didn't realize how much of the designs that I liked. Uh, I was finding some, like when I'm looking around at knives, you know how we do. <laughs> I see some, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know that was his. But that's cool, man. That's cool. I'm gonna have to look that one up. You're talking about. Get in there. Stop again. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna do. Let's see. What are we got here? Uh, I think I'm gonna save this guy. Just a little bit. One of these guys. Now we gotta throw on a blue Minati. Blue Minati. Shout out to Blue Minati. Uh, I'm all out, I'm all out of his patches, guys. Sorry, but I got some stickers. You still get some of that cool art. Well, oh, that's good. That's always good. Put a little blue Minati in your life. Manifestation, what's up? You're right there. How you doing, dude? How's your Saturday, man? What are the snacks? What are the pockets? I need them. Oh, <laughs> oh, my beard's sticking to my my hoodie. How's your Saturday, man? Marty the cod piece, pieces, pieces. <laughs> hey, man, that video last night was funny. But P and W was he singing his head off over there? We're gonna throw in a Casa sticker in there. Shout out to Acaso, Brian Brown, Bill, uh, I don't know. I know he's a, he's a fireman or something. Maybe that's a fireman type thing. Or he uh, was a fireman. I think that's what he was. I uh, can't wait to see them bad boys. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, they're going to come out awesome. What is the, what material is it that you're using, uh, Wade? See, do you have the rat towel? The rat towel? They're so thoughts. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great collection for giveaway. Rene Ramon, what's up, dude? Oh, I found it. V E D C. Uh, he's probably left already. I was looking for his other sticker. I gave mine away last time because I couldn't find the other one. I thought I, I thought I misplaced it. It was just in the box. We're giving a B E D C. Brian, uh, what else we got here? Oh, shout out to CDC, Speak of the Devil. A little raccoon collaboration. And we got Arcane Design sticker. So that in there. So this is just the swag so far. We're doing probably one more sticker. Oh, this sticker's dope. Check this sticker out. It's uh, from the, the Vosti Nightshade. I am not a fan of the nightshade too much. I mean, it's not really my style, but the sticker is <laughs> such a cool sticker. I kept one for myself. I hope I do. And we're throwing in the Wii Knife uh, Ranger Eye. Throw that in there. Right. We'll do that. Okay. Move. Get over there. Yeah, Mandy, what you snacking on? Let me know. Tell us. Uh, what's going on, y'all? Congrats on the positive review on the gal from MC. Oh, thanks. Hey, hey, thanks for the heads up. I didn't even know he did a full review on it, right, uh, Renee? Uh, it was really cool to see that. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it was just really cool. So thanks for the heads up. And it was the uh, overall, it was a good review. You know, it's not going to be for everybody, like you said, and, you know, the flipper tapping and all that. But uh, all that was good. I was talking about earlier, I don't know, for the people that weren't here, that this was supposed to be a bolster lock, and I, I just realized it uh, yesterday when I was working on the thumbnail. So it was actually a frame lock with the overlay. And uh, I was like, wait. That's funny. But thanks again. I appreciate you. And what are the pockets, Renee? What are the pockets? Uh, I keep trying Ozark Trail knives, looking for the diamond in the rail. Search continues. Yeah, there. Uh, I had an. 
Alpha side, I guess, adult. And it was, uh, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad for like eight bucks. I think it was, it was, uh, aluminum. It didn't feel like great aluminum. I don't know if that, excuse me. I don't know if that makes sense. Sorry about that. But, uh, it was, you know, eight bucks. Uh, so part of the prize going to be this guy right here. Uh, it's a pouch, kind of, a, it's a big old pouch. So I want to say it's, uh, well, it says three dragons luggage. I don't know that it's a stand long brand. I don't know what kind of brand that is, but pouch itself is pretty cool. Got a little pouch up front. I mean, a uh, pocket up front. Got two zippers. You got this main one right here. Comes with uh, a phone stand, which is pretty cool. Give me it. It's the black stand, I think. You got that comes with, and it comes with some straps. So if you wanna, you wanna man purse it, or if you wanna purse it, <laughs> uh, crossbody sling. Maybe it's long enough. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, yeah. It looks like it'll be long enough. Got all this loop right here. You can extend it. So that's cool. We got, we got this thing. I don't know what that is. I don't know. That's something. It comes with it. <laughs> oh, stop falling. Stop falling everywhere. Okay. Uh, I don't have any just trolling. <laughs> freeze three about three. Uh, three. Uh, freeze three, but I gave it to someone. Uh, some there was only like one O knife that actually appealed to me recently. Or maybe two, but then I saw a review on it by Stasa, and it wasn't it wasn't great. So we got this main pouch up, up front, main pocket up front, and then we got another one back here. I guess they're both the same, but there's uh, there's another little pocket on the inside of this this guy. So I think it's a cool little uh, pouch. You can hang it on something on your bag or something like that. This is where the straps go back here. You can put it on your belt right there. So it's not bad. And then, oh, it's got this little hole up front for the headphones. So that's cool too. So, you know, if you're up, you know, somewhere and you don't want to carry all your stuff on you, but you want to have access to everything. I went to the zoo, this would be dope. Um, it's too big for the pocket. So that sucks. This is a, a design that I kind of like, but not for the pocket. I'm still on the hunt for that perfect pouch. Uh, I'm getting close. <laughs> so that is going to be part of the giveaway. Put all this back together. And the other thing, so we got the swag. I didn't get a bag yet. Look at that. I was going to do this guy, the Morning Pixie. I don't remember which one this one is, but you know, they, they're going to do it well, regardless of which one it is. This is what they do. They, they sit in this uh, budget range and they just they do a great job at it. They don't try to be anything that they're not. And this is a very slicey blade. And whoever gets it, man, let me know what you do with it. But it's a work. So I did think this was, I was hoping this was going to be grippy and I assumed it was and it's not a plasticky. Unless I got it from the wrong spot, but I don't think I did. No, made in Sweden. So. That's what that is right there. I, I like it a lot. And it's, uh, I've been wanting to handle one for a while and it is uh, as advertised or I haven't you know, put it to work, but the only thing is, like I said, I, I thought this was grippy and it's not, and I wish it were a grippy texture. And I'm also gonna throw in this Ozark, you know, nothing crazy. So it's not an extra fancy giveaway, but something, I hope y'all like it and put some of it to use, use the stickers, use the morning, use the pouch. Throw this away, whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like the blade shape. Blade shape, useful. Black grind. They did a great job with the sharpening choil. Wait, did they? No, it's an okay job. I think I'm thinking of something else. Oh, I'm thinking of the mini critical. So there's a little bit of life. But I don't know what kind of steel this is. Oh, the mini critical, though. Got all day. Oh, almost. <laughs> it's pretty good. 
Uh, you just ate a cookie. What kind of cookie did you have, man? I need, I need details, man. You already know. That's a pokey pokey. <laughs> Oh, that pickle! Everybody was like worried about Maddie. That Maddie was worried for Maddie last night. He had a uh, warhead pickle. I was very excited. I wanted to see. I, I saw him at the beginning of the live. I was like, oh, I was lurking, and uh, eventually I jumped in. And I was like, hey, Maddie, I want to see you eat that. And uh, he said it wasn't a sour though, so I was a little disappointed. But then it turned out to be like fifteen hundred or so milligrams for a serving of five of that pickle. <laughs> so he was like, how much you can you have in a day? So my limit is 2,000, so you were way past that. I love pickles, but I don't want to use all my sodium. Well, I know I wouldn't because I haven't yet. All my sodium on a pickle. And I love pickles. Uh, Chihuahua. On the meaner. Reels back. You know, you saw me cracking up. Yeah, man, that was fun. He says, I'm good looking. Pizza look good. Yeah, I need to look at that picture, man. He sent it to me. I'll do it during the, when I put up the giveaway. Mark Parks, what's up, dude? How you doing? What's in the pockets? What are the snacks? Do you have any of those things going? Can I bring this up? Sorry, I'm struggling with a burp here. Uh, stream Yahoo. And Maddie, he's trying to get a hold of Post Malone. So if anybody has Post Malone's number, uh, tell him to call Maddie. <laughs> he's been trying to, he's tagging him. What is it, your 15th day today? Tagging Post Malone? Did you do that? Or, uh, let's see. Giveaway tool. Yeah, because Post Malone likes knives, but. I went to his Instagram, man. I had I was curious. Uh, I think just before you started doing that, and I was trying to see, you know, did he have any pocket dumps or anything? And the only thing I saw was Dallas Cowboys. So I was like, oh, I like Dallas Cowboys. I should work on a track and I'll tag him in it, man. I'll work on a track, tag him, and I'll tag your knife. I'll tag everybody. I'll tag our our streams. <laughs> Hashtag. Friday night, Saturday noon. Can't stop playing that stuff. <laughs> um, okay, I know what I'm going to do. Uh, let's do that. I didn't expect Luke to read that out. Read that out loud. What did I read? <laughs> the Chihuahua thing. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Aries, what's up, man? How you doing? It's in the pockets, bro. Hey, man, what's the word? How's everybody doing? I fall asleep here and oh, it's it's comforting. All right, so this is going to be 90s vibe. Dude, I'm using 1095, and for the collabs, it's Tamascus Camel Carbon for scales with pink G10. Oh, nice, man. It's a nice blend. It, it looks great. It really does. Dig it. Sticker is better than nine. <laughs> it was, man. Not really able to chat. I got you, Aries. Cool, man. Gotta drop your links in here, man. Uh, new knife day for me. Got the Concept Goblin XL and the Clydesdale today. Oh, yeah, man. Awesome carry, dude. How was the, the Goblin? How was that? I gotta look it up. I'm, I'm not sure if I know what that is. Y'all check out Aries on Instagram. I'm gonna drop three links. Y'all be ready. Coming in hot. Check out Aries on Instagram. Check him out on the YouTube. This is all going to be his work. So if you're interested in seeing a man do some awesome fixies like uh, like Wade over there, it's different styles though. 
and check them out too. They're doing it's it's just cool to see these guys doing their work, putting their work out there. It's putting their their stuff out there. People can be. I mean, it doesn't matter if people criticize it or not. Still, whatever <laughs> they're still doing awesome work, and uh, so it's cool to see them do that. But uh, for people to see, I like it. Y'all check them out, and if y'all dig it, go and buy some. What I need to do, and we can't forget satisfaction. Mm -hmm. I'm finna roll this giveaway right now, guys. Sorry. <laughs> check out satisfaction, the YouTube channel. Check out the live streams. He goes live on Wednesdays uh, with said Stevie and Sharif joins them. Uh, usually joins them, and uh, got a job. Said Stevie in here too. Said Stevie goes on Fridays. I'm sorry, Saturdays. And Fridays. What is, what is the deal with that? Is that said Stevie's on Saturday and Friday? But either way, they combine forces to make some awesome stuff. So y'all check them out. Now let's get this giveaway going. Let's do it. Hurry up, Mark. Gosh, damn, man. What's about this? Nobody cares about Maddie's faction in Aries. <laughs> Just kidding. Let me get this going. Here, right here. Give it to me. Put it right here. Hashtag Merce. Y'all get that in there? <laughs> I can put my weeds in there. <laughs> For sure, man. For sure. A lot of them. I'll hold it for you. <laughs> He's going to want it back, bro. <laughs> that he said Persa was about to be <laughs> well now it says Merce <laughs> next time later uh, Neil have a good day man I appreciate you stopping in man enjoy your uh, your calzone too man I mean not your calzone your hot pocket sounds great sounds fantastic I appreciate you as always man enjoy the weekend Just lurking, hanging my screen door. Oh, okay, cool. Hanging it up. I hope it's doing. I hope it keeps out all the bugs or something. <laughs> I haven't had a screen door in a while. I used to have one when I was young. On um, my mom's house, and you know, those things slam all the time. Gosh, damn! Stop slamming the door. <laughs> you always don't need to be fancy. You're giving away kindness, and we all win doing that. Oh, man, for sure. For sure. But you know. <laughs> Appreciate you, Maddie. Love me some tip down here. Yeah, man. You know how it goes. Mozart coming in hot with it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and that's the only way, too. And uh, it's funny. CRKT, they come like that already. Some Kershaws, they just come clapping that way. Everybody's going to do it that way. How they like it. Uh, whoever wins, I'll be getting the giveaway out on Monday. If I don't forget, I'm sorry. The past two weeks I missed on Monday. I got them out on Tuesdays. On, uh, both were on Tuesday. Sorry about that, guys. I just got on the YouTube and saw that you were live. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> well, I appreciate you stopping in. Hope you're having a great Saturday. I need the pockets. I need the snacks. Stat. The cookie is one of those fat cookies filled with frosting and door on DoorDash. Oh. I'm flying around. Uh, I don't, I'm not familiar with these. Yeah, I wish it was more sour. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. That's Is that where I'm at right now? Jeez. Goodbye. Yep, sure. Sure, damn him. Yeah, I like the, the sour, man, for sure. Did you eat that pickle satisfaction? You sure did. Yeah, I would have I been done. That would, have been, that would have been it, man. That would have been my last meal. I probably would enjoy it. I would have enjoyed it. <laughs> I love a sour pig. Oh, but you know what? Then I would have been disappointed because it wouldn't have been a sour. Hey. I'm with Marty on that. It's not like you're rolling in the Mr. Beast box. I just wanted to present you. Very generous. I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. 
Post Malone likes those Italian knives. He's a big fan of Giant Mouse. Oh, like, uh, who else is like that? Uh, from uh, Wild Boys and Jackass? Chris Pontius? Yeah, he, he likes Giant Mouse, too. Well, I know who I'm using as my OEM. That's it. I'm hitting up MKM, Lion Steel. Well, I guess that's like the parent company or something to them, or I don't know. That is, but I'm hitting all of them up, and then I'm gonna tag Post Malone. Everybody, let's do that. Let's all use. Man, nobody's gonna buy it. Maybe Post Malone will buy all of them. Don't forget to hit that like. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um. Tagging people I know and like, so in the hopes that one day he does comment, he might check them out as well. I hope he does. That's a very cool idea. Nice. Awesome. Oh, yeah, send him one. Yeah, for sure. Man. That would be awesome. Work time. I hope you all have a wonderful day, evening. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck on the giveaway. Thank you, Angel. Have a great day. I will talk to you soon. I'm going to call you right now while I'm on stream. Have a great day. Um, Aries is awesome. Aries is awesome. He's a good dude. Making some cool things. Uh, I saw that, uh, well, it's been a while, but Luminati put it to work. Your, uh, was it the Crow? <laughs> it was a big run. Rosalind. Who's Rosalind? Ros for short. What are we doing? Hmm. It's a big boy knife, a great front flipper, and a reverse flick on it. I might have Dopey do some animal work on it. Let's try to get it. Well, you're making a good choice. You do. <laughs> Another one. Appreciate you, mom. That's my mom. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to moms. Hashtag Mercer Giant Marty. I'm <laughs> gonna Nice and DSKFS over here from Maddie. Bob, what's up? Dude? How you doing? I think you forgot some letters? Maybe I'll oh, hear you. Go. All right. How's your Saturday, man? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. All right. Finally caught up. Jeez. Oh, he did that. I missed it. Where is it? Where are you? Show me. Dwayne Letterman, what's up, dude? We're just chilling. I'm just chilling right now. We got 36 entries right now. We got 50 people, it looks like. I don't usually look at that, but just was curious. So if anybody isn't in there, make sure you get in there. I'll give it to uh, 417. Seems like a long time. I wonder if I can do this. Let me see. Can I do this? Oh, if I remove myself, y'all can't hear me. I was going to throw a fusion and that on, but then it'd just be silent, the fusion moving around and stuff. I guess it might not be a bad idea. <laughs> uh, MC will get posty on his live before you're saying anything to Maddie. What? Oh, yeah, that would be lame. He doesn't deserve it. I'm going to go to Maddie's right now. Luminati probably won't be here, but you never know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, he's doing it right. I haven't seen him. Maybe he's working or something. I'll drop his link in here again. Go so check him out. Luminati. We have Luminati. Give me it. Oh, that's Barbarian Brownie. I'll check out Barbarian Brownie, too. Pretty cool, dude. I'm gonna drop his link in here too. Look out, blooming nothing. Awesome, dude. 
and Bronny, Bang and Bronny. Check out his YouTube and check out his Instagram. I'm gonna drop his Instagram in here too. Uh, awesome pictures. He takes some great, great shots. He does not play around with those pictures. And make sure you check out Mike Braun. The Bronster. He might come in last minute and give everybody a subscribe. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't have soaps, but I would not let him. Well, because he can't really control that. He just does it. He's done some awesome uh gifted some Clyde's builds uh two or three times. Very, very cool of him. He sent uh did I show oh I didn't even show these, my bad. I skipped these, I showed all the stickers and everything. Out of blue Minati. We're gonna show the patches. He had these sent to me. Appreciate you, Blue Minati. The new Breed EDC. Those are limited. And uh, some poker chips. MBEDC. And this guy right here. Little Dunk. Hey, the new Breed. Shout out to Blue Minati on that. Yeah, awesome dude. He's done some awesome stuff for the channel. I really appreciate it. Doing good, brother. I got a killer deal yesterday. Bossy Nightshade and Elmax for $95. That does sound like a good deal. I'm not a biggest fan of the the Nightshade myself, but I've heard very good things. And for that, for that steal, the price, nice. Very cool. Man. Yeah, Crispy, how are you doing, man? I'm resting a lot, but I feel great, bro. That's very, very cool. Dude. Uh, I know that. Uh, I heard yesterday that people were saying they, they saw you and they were glad to see you in the chat. And I didn't realize, I mean, did you have another surgery or something? I know a while back you had something coming up, but I thought that there had been a string already. Did something else come up? I'm sorry. I hate when I don't know stuff. Ginger Fisher, what's up, dude? So kind and all the EDC people and everyone. Yeah, for sure, for sure. With you on that. Okay, cool. Oh, it's 19. My bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Got sidetracked. All right, let's run this. So we're going to run it in five, four, three, two. All right, we got one in there. One, here we go. Good luck, y'all. Ah, that's what horses manure. I forgot to put. I forgot to play for somebody. Oh wait, knife and tool. Congrats, dude. Congrats. Why am I lagging? Am I lagging? Son of a. Damn, I forgot to play for somebody. Sorry, guys. My bad. I always do that crud. I'm very edited right now. Very edited. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. This whole community is full of DSKF folks, for sure. Full of them. I dig it. Still learning how to do videos and stuff, so it's okay if I don't get subs. No way, sweet. Congrats, bro. You have a channel, Blue Bugger? My bad, man. I didn't know. Go check it out. Oh, but you don't have videos, you just said. Oh, that makes sense. A crafting game? I don't know what this is. You. <laughs> yeah, I guess if there, are no, there aren't any videos, I guess there wouldn't be. Are you going to do videos? Still learning? Still learning. I don't see you. I don't think this is you either. I don't see you, man. Uh, Wade, hit me up on uh, Instagram, man. Just let me know where you want me to send that to, and I get it to you as soon as I can. 
What's that stink? Oh, hey, bro. Bro, guys, what's up, dude? I didn't see you in here. Where are you at? There you are, man. How's your Saturday, dude? Hope you're having a great day. Oh, here we go. Was in the hospital from Monday to Thursday, adjusting to Tycothin. Just to get my heart back in rhythm, and also they did the cardio version Thursday. Is that me hard? It was my fifth, fifth cardio version. Man, it sounds rough, dude. But I'm glad you're here, dude. Uh, always, always appreciate you. You know, being in the live trying to support, even when you're down, when you're in the hospital or something, man. You still show up, dude. It's good to see you doing doing odd. Awesome. Yeah, sorry, I didn't know that though. I should have known that. Glad you're not. And there's so many that has been out of longer than me. I got seven, but out but learning. Touch. He has videos, Luke. What is the. Uh, is it. Blade Walker 5801. Is this you playing the piano? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I see myself come up in the SM rolling. That's funny. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. That's not you playing the piano. <laughs> oh, okay. Been lurking playing video games, okay? Playing the video games. What are you playing, man? Picture covered and all you got the sedation, but we are still figuring it out. Um, oh man, two burn marks. Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't know what that is, but it sounds intense, man. It does sound intense. Is this you with the video games, Blade Walker? I see a Blade Walker with video games. Seven ways to die. Seven days to die. Is that you? Is that you with the video games? Later, Scott. Enjoy your day, dude. Thanks for stopping in, man. I appreciate you. Look forward to seeing some more stuff from you. Uh, he didn't even tell me his pockets, right? <laughs> That's not you either? Well, dang it. Why am I the only one not seeing it? Oh, you know what? I bet if I... Because I'm not on YouTube for my stream. I wonder if I go to my stream, like, can I click on you? We're going to find out. Let me see. Come on, there you go. Hey, where are you? Give me it. Here we go. Man, that was a lot easier. <laughs> oh, here we go. Why are you in a restroom cell? I can't share you if you're going to be in the restroom doing stuff. You got some Trevisas here? Hey, y'all check out Blade, uh, Blade Walker. Check him out. Check out his content. You a sub. I'm gonna check it out after the stream, man. You better not be messing around in that restroom, you weirdo. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> is Wade here? Where is he? Oh, there's your friend. Oh, dang, I went to pick up material from my mailbox and come back to the top. Yeah, man. <laughs> so funny. I was just about to say, where's he? Yeah, man. Uh, let me know. You got the, the pouch thing and put some stuff in here. Uh, more news. Fixing. Yeah. Got this guy. 
Uh, just hit me up on Instagram where you want me to send it, and I got you. You got some swag. A little bit of swag coming your way too, man. Oh, and then you got this guy. The the best, the best part of the, the giveaway is Ozark Trail. You can beat it up. Yeah. Beat it up if you want. <laughs> it's uh it's not great, but the just the blade design, you know, probably do a little bit of work with it, but nothing fancy. But a lot of us went to Walmart and bought knives in the past, you know, before we knew about fun stuff and quality. So yeah, man, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram and I'll get it to you. There's a little foam stand. I don't know if you saw that. With this thing and some straps if you want to merge it up. It's just the way the straps look. That's why I call it a merge. <laughs> a different style. I'm used to seeing that like the thicker thing. Get in here, guy. Come on now. I'll probably put everything. Can I fit everything in there? I think so. No. Well, it'll be coming your way somehow. I got you. I can't put the stickers in here though. I'm gonna do that. We'll get it all set up though. We will do that. Sure. Uh, all right. Where am I? Mm. Where did I go? Oh, okay. So, family time got to run, folks. Uh, all right, man. Enjoy your day. Uh, thanks for stopping in. I, I really appreciate it, dude. Enjoy your family. I hope you eat something good with your family. Let me know. Text me. Message me. Later, Kathleen. Enjoy your day. Yeah, man, you got it. You got it, bro. All right, so, so we got the winner. Just hit me up on that. I think I'll just play around with Fusion a little bit more. Probably cut it out, cut out maybe about 4.45. Wrap it up. But uh, this thing right here, I'm just forcing around. It's nothing really. Just kind of messing with Fusion. If anybody has any questions about Fusion, if they're using it, if you want to ask anything, maybe I can answer it. Let me know. We can do that if you'd like. So. There's really nothing that I've got that I'm trying to do with this. I'm just doing it. Um, yeah, I don't want that there. I don't know why I did that. Oh, do anybody have anything cool coming in? Y'all let, let me know that. I hope so. No, I don't want that that far. Get out of here. I think, oh, you know what? I might, but I do, but I don't. So. About right there. I don't think I like that, but I'm going to it in a second. Yeah. Put Right there. A little bit much. I don't like that. A little bit less than that. Uh, 
don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do two point arc. I don't think I'm going to like that, but I'm just going to do it for now. Oh, whoops. Uh, Car, what's up, dude? How you doing? I talked about you in my video the other day. I said breakfasts. <laughs> I was laughing at myself. I was like, breakfasts? And breakfasts. I said it twice, and I caught it later, and I was like, ah, shucks. Breakfasts. But I was saying, like, how you eat two meals or something like that. Uh, this is my last video. Shout out to Todd Car. So, yeah, he eats two breakfasts. I don't know why I said that. Later, be shady. Enjoy your day, man. Thanks for stopping in, dude. Have a good work day. Meredith, I have smoke house. Is why, but I like the way you think. Hey, man. When is when are you smoking that meat, bro? I need that meat. What the whoa. You know what I mean? Come on, guys. You know what I mean? Hey, there's anything around you. No, but really, I'm excited for your page, dude. I mean, your Instas, if you decide to do that. I don't know what the hell I'm doing right here. What the hell is this? I don't like this at all. Yeah. Hey. Maybe something like that. I don't know. I just know I didn't like what I was doing before. <laughs> Sitting and waiting for the wife. Wife is in the clothing store. Story of my Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up in there. I didn't know he did smoke me this way. <laughs> Just me haven't forgot about the smoking videos we were supposed to get last year. My notifications are still on and waiting. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. Give me a break between grocery stores. <laughs> it's funny. Man, I go to, uh, there's this, uh, we have HEBs in Texas. And uh, there's one called Central Market. It's like a fancier of HEB. And it's like a, I guess like a market marketplace to like uh markets you know you get fresh stuff and things like that a lot of fresh produce a lot of organic or whatever i don't know but they i can go in there and it's like an amusement park man uh go in there for hours angel and i, and I went in there and we were there for a long time uh i bought uh I bought like 150 200 worth of stuff and it was like a lot of condiments and things but the thing about it is that i got to watch my sodium so I can find a lot of variety of things like that. It, I can have more, like they have a no sodium mayonnaise, the vegan mayonnaise. So that's pretty dope. Uh, but the thing about it is, is that the last time that I went, because I went with my mom the, the time before then, we had a good time there too. And uh, But this time when I, when I went with Angel, our, our fridge broke. So yeah, the fridge broke and a lot of my stuff went back. So that was no fun. So I lost some of my goodies. Got a CJRBC snake. Should be coming up today. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Thank you everyone for the like, share, and follow. Take care and have a good weekend. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> fighting with birds all day, man. Thank you, old school rocker. Appreciate you. Enjoy the day. Yeah, man. Waiting on the, waiting on that meat. Man. Excited. Breakfast, lunch, supper, second supper. There it is. Not breakfast is. Create <laughs> DC blade, nice and slicey cardboard destroyer. What are we talking about? The sea snake? Oh, 
Farmer's market. Yeah, it's like a farmer's market. There you go. You almost missed some part of that. Yeah, it's just, it's just I look everywhere, looking at everything. What's that? What's this? What's that? I don't know. Let's get it. Pocket shop for hours and we get eight items. <laughs> no, we get like maybe, like, it'd be like maybe two or three like different meats. Like last time I got, or two times I went there, I went, I got Wagyu. Uh, that's delicious. It was better the first time I got it. Uh, and then before we went, we got uh, frog legs. So we get like a couple of proteins or something. And then the rest will be like condiments and like chips. And and so there's some certain chips that I can't have because they're so high or I can only have like a taste of them or something that's lame. So last time I was there, I had to get out of the chip section because I'd already grabbed like four bags and I wanted to grab like four other ones. So I was like, let me, let me get out of here. I grabbed like three salsas. Uh, no, I grabbed like four or five sauces and it's just there's just so much more that i can have there and it's just like a candy like a kid in a candy store but i guess an adult in a grocery store i don't know i don't know where i was going with that but it, it's just awesome uh, i love going there it's it's, it's really fun I, really, um, I love cooking i've always liked cooking and uh so you know whenever i get to see things there are certain things that i know what they are and um, I'm excited. I get excited to try to put them to use, see what they're like, or things that I've never heard of. And I want to see what they're like. <laughs> it's always a good time. But yeah, gross. Uh, the fridge breaking down though really was a bummer, man. I spent, like I said, I spent like two hundred dollars there. Like a lot of the condiments, because I get here. <laughs> I get the, uh, get home after you know buying the stuff, and I want to try everything that I just got. So I think it had already been maybe a week or so after I had already uh, bought the stuff. So I had already opened like maybe more than half of the stuff that I got. And uh, yeah, it was like oh, so pretty. And they took like a week to fix the fridge. Damn. Hey, I had to keep going and asking. Uh, yo, fixing it or what? <laughs> Today's the day. I don't think I like this, but just goofing around for now. Yeah. A lot of curves going on here. I'm gonna do this right here. It's like a pre uh they're called fillets. It's like a pre-fillet. You can do them after you make the design. I think I did too much of that actually. Yeah, you can soften it up after I'll show in a minute. Okay, all right. Let's not. Let's just undo that. Start. Oh, I don't. I just do it after this. So we can do this. We're gonna extrude it. So we'll create the body. There's still some steps before that, but do this to show one another one. I'll do three point zero millimeter, and then you can go over here. And that one thing that I was doing in the sketch, you can just come over here to this part right here, select fill it. That's how I've heard it said by a number of people. It looks like fillet to me. But... And then you just cut away a little bit, soften it up as much or as little as you want. So I think whoop. the point. So yeah, that's how that would be there. And I I really just uh, found that recently, uh, maybe about a month ago, started using this guy, this little uh, what's it called? Oh, it's called a fit. 
and uh, just been using it here and there during the sketch, and uh, it's been pretty beneficial. I mean, that that's it. It has helped for some of these harsh corners that come out sometimes. Fun times, yeah. Actually, I think the sea snake is artist of color. Oh yeah, it is. It is artist of color. Enter the weed store. Back to the two cues. <laughs> We have a local farmer's market here. It's only real good in the summer and fall. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would like to go to an actual one. Uh, yeah, this is just a grocery store with just awesome stuff in there. Uh, when I used to drink, uh, they have like awesome like uh, craft beers, just like a great selection. Uh, I used to go for like the, the higher percentage, be like a 14% bottle, some kind of misservice or something, some kind of weird name. And it be like twenty dollars for a bottle, so you only go there when it's like, you know, like a special, special grocery grocery shopping. You don't want to go there all the time. I mean, unless you just know you're just buying simple stuff and that's your grocery store. But when I go there, oh, it's a party. <laughs> uh, before I go, I'm just gonna show how this would go if I was actually designing it. So do a four point five millimeter pivot hole. Come back in, and we'll do. Uh, this would depend on you know the size of your design or what you want to do also if you prefer it to be bigger whatever you're going for 8.5 this would be act as the uh, where i'm going to put my the indent for the pivot cap and uh, the pivot screw so we'll do that and then we're going to cut off where I'm put my lock bar so I'm going to start right here and do a slight angle. Just a slight angle. Right there. Cut that off. And then we'll, the way you will start with the blade first, you're going to extrude this. This shout out to Courtly Fabrications. Uh, he's how I learned how to design. He doesn't know me. Uh, I follow him on Instagram. I know he's seen me like his stuff and all that, but we don't. He doesn't follow me back. But I still shout him out because I learned. I mean, it's not a big deal. He doesn't need to follow me back. I'm just saying. Uh, he's how I learned how to design. Uh, the start. I started learning designing, but then after that, it has been Austin Shaner. Uh, I'll drop both of their links in here if anybody wants to check them out. So you're gonna go symmetric on this for the blade. One point, do a one point five thickness, so it's going to be three millimeters, and you're going to create a component, new component, do OK, and then you're going to take the component away, make it a turn away the turn off the visibility, bring the sketch back. You're going to select this right here. You're going to extrude, extrude, and you're going to go away from the object and you're going to select this guy right here and you are going to go one side or so this is going to be creating your handle and you'll do a three point whatever uh, eight let's just say and you got to make it a, a new component because down here are your other operations that you're going to choose so right now it's joining it but you want it to be either a body or cut it, whatever you're going for, but you want to create a new component. You see it, called, it creates that line. There you go. And then you have the rough of what you're going for. And then you, you go from there. So this is just, this is obviously, <laughs> the proportions are all messed up here. I may have gone longer on the, the handle than I was thinking, than, than I was meaning to. And. Uh, I probably placed the pivot in the wrong place too. So you just see where you're at, you work from there. It's very just messed up. You can still change where the pivot hole is. Come in here and you bring this down. You place it a little bit there. Just play with the design. I mean, if you already have something sketched out, that's what I would recommend. Uh, something sketched out that you've put. Uh, that you've done your paper function test. So you cut out the you cut out your sketch 
and you put it on, uh, and it's closer, but it's not quite it. Either way, that's garbage, just pass it around. Uh, paper function test, I'll show you what that means. So, wrong one. <laughs> So the paper function test, you'll have your design that you sketched, and you go through sketches until you get it how you want it, and then you get your get your sketch all just uh, traced out, and you cut, put something in the center where you want your pivot, and you close it, close it where you want it to line up, where you're expecting it to, where you want it to, make sure the back of the blade isn't sticking out, make sure you factor in where the stop pin's gonna hit, what material you're gonna need to cut away, that's what I would start with if you're going to go on with the design. So just make sure you have everything right and how you want it. Anytime you're, you know, you're reaching out to a company, uh, just get it so you want it. I have a lot, next time I'm going to have the, the, the cutouts out so I can show you all because I went through a lot of these and I threw away some, but I still have a bunch that a lot of trial and error for my designs, a lot. Stuff benefits you a lot and then if you cut something out test it out if you have a knife that you're using that you want to test that you're going for that this is pretty much what i want so i want this length you know the thickness but don't copy the design handle just because you dig it uh, unless it's just a basic handle and that's just what it is uh, like this is just a generic design you know general drop point comfortable blade handle you know, this, you know i knew that's what i wanted so that's what i went for on this but if it's going to be something wild and you're gonna to want to print it, you know, the, the handle on this is more comfortable, but there are this up here and things like that. So you want to test things out. The, the, the wilder you get with your design, you're gonna to want to cut something out or, or print something or find somebody that'll print it for you. So you can test the ergos and the placement of things like that. Because like I said, the wilder it gets, the harder it is for you to really know what it's gonna feel like. Uh, so that's where I would start with a design if you're designing something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so cut up here. Sorry, guys, I went off on a little thing there. But about to wrap it up here. This isn't Minecraft. <laughs> Play Minecraft over here. Nice idea. I use Paracord to make belt loops. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed stuff up here. I'm getting like zip ties to attach my belt before, but I'll stop to make sure that it's kind of prepared. Uh, oh, Joe Isabella. I didn't see you say what's up. I thought you were here already. <laughs> How you doing, man? But I guess that's it. So congrats again to uh, Wade, Knife and Tool. Uh, thanks, everybody, for stopping in, for chilling. Uh, I always enjoy hanging with y'all. I missed uh, last Saturday. Cool to get back to it, you know, with y'all talking this and that. Uh, I like the the phone. Oh, it's the camera now because now I can go and search things and look. It's a little, it's more fun for me. And uh, I mean, if I don't have the the link to who I was, you know, who I'm talking about, now I can go and get it instead of being like, oh, I gotta wait because it would lag during the stream. So that's that's been really fun. Again, I appreciate y'all coming in, hanging with me. I hope you have a great Saturday. Eat some awesome snacks, you know. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your, day, enjoy your weekend. Uh, we're having a rough time. Stay positive. Keep positive, always. Uh, but that's all I got, guys. Appreciate y'all. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Keep the pockets packed. Eat some awesome snacks. Check y'all later. Peace. I got it. Later, y'all. Have a good one. Peace.